Hello, everyone. Hey, guys. I tried to wrangle him as fast as I could, but there's only so much I could do. <laughs> Listen, it's 1038. We're fine. That's almost 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, everyone? I Just out of curiosity, for those of you who regularly watch the Weekly Sip, do we sound a little bit different today? The answer is no. Uh, let's see what they say. Oh, man, coffee's ready. Thank you, Naomi. You're welcome. You don't deserve it, though, because of your lateness. Oh, it's good. Thank you. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hey, Yvonne. Hey, chat. Hi, hey, Devin. Tidge. Naomi says Tidge. We do sound different. Yes, yes. A little, a little, yes, yes, a bit, yes. You two sound horny. No, fuck you. <laughs> <clears throat> We actually both have a little bit of a plug nose, to be honest. Yep. Yep. So that's what you get from living in a dry climate. Okay, so, listen. A little too close to the mic. Oh, we're not too close to the mic. I can turn us down a little bit if you like. So here's the situation, okay? 2008 Xbox mic? No, we're not! <laughs> These are actually really expensive mics. Fuck you! Naomi has the good mic? Of course I do. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck off. <laughs> Okay, so basically, um, what we're doing right now, guys, is we're recording on the set of the gaming show. Yep. We're not in, like, you know, we're not using the usual mic. We're using the lav mics that we use in the gaming show. And so, like, it's like a, a little directional mic that we pin to our shirts and it points up at our mouth. And it, like, catches our, 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 uh, it, it's like, it, it's, it's very strange because most lav mics are omnidirectional mics. So yep. they catch everything around you. Yep. But I specifically bought some very strange, rare mics that are lav mics that um, that catch a pattern in a cone, like like a shotgun mic. Mm -hmm. For real, Dev, your mic sounds really bad. What do you fucking mean? Why don't you just listen to it through the headphones and see? Can I fucking listen to it? Oh my fucking god! I am not using a Rode Go mic. Hold on. I wasn't doing it for the fucking headphones. Hold on. Let's see here. Where the fuck? What are you you got to rename the headphones in this. <laughs> Do I? Apparently. Okay. Hold on, let's see. Hold on, here. I'm going to go back and listen for a bit. Give me a second. You talk, Naomi. Hello, chat. Dev is busy, so now I can tell you all of his secrets, but you have to specifically ask for them, otherwise I'm not going to tell you. It's not the mic, it's Dev. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening to this in the headphones. This sounds... Dev, your mic sounds worse than the detachable one I have hooked up to my PC via USB sound card. Shut up. <laughs> you fucks no man like I'm yeah I'm listening to it and it sounds fine are you guys just trolling me mm -hmm. so Naomi how do you feel about the cannibalism in Haiti I mean I don't I feel I am more surprised by how not surprised I am about that <laughs> you're a racist you know that I'm, I don't know anymore <laughs> no listen like these are really expensive microphones, and they've been working good this whole time. So, this idea that they're suddenly bad. Smelly dev time, name me ready for unstation. Shut up! Okay. <laughs> Makes sense, fine to me. Objectively lower quality. Skip ads. Speaking into a tin can. Skip ads. I'm, no, no, fuck you. <laughs> you guys deserve ads, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> Dev, the gaslighting you, you sound fine. It's not heinous, but it is noticeably worse. Well, hold on. It is a lav mic, right? It's not the studio recording mic that I have for the show usually. Mm -hmm. But that's because studio recording mics, um, they're big, they're bulky, they're good quality, but they're not good for when you, have to, when you have to have four people sitting on a couch running a cord to all of them, right? Yeah, also, also, if you're trying to do this, shouldn't you skip the ads so everyone can hear you? No, fuck you. <laughs> Dev. <laughs> Chat's gaslighting you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start banning people. 
I'm gonna start fucking banning people for this. I'm done. Yeah, anyway, my secret question about Dev, which slash fix has he written featuring himself and other YouTubers? None. He None. doesn't have time to write any slash fix. If you guys want to do that and then send them to me so I can read them, I wouldn't mind. Ah. Uh, Make sure they're very gay, though. But yeah, you know, I do think that my actual, like, recording mic for the videos, which I do use for this show generally, is probably better quality mics than these. No fucking duh. But these are meant to be, like, tiny and portable. Yes. And, like, they clip mm -hmm. on a shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For a lav mic, it sounds decent. Mm -hmm. A wired gaming headset would have better quality. Fuck you, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay, listen. Wait, now, Naomi, what okay, is your yeah, favorite produce snack? Again. Fucking... Tomatoes and salt. Yeah, that's true. You are a yeah. tomato person. Yeah. You like tomatoes, just yeah. like eating tomatoes. Yeah. Okay, so listen. The reason that we are... Shut up, Sig. The reason that we are in the gaming studio today recording... Uh, not recording, streaming... Um, the weekly sip is because I'm, I want to try something new where basically directly after the weekly sip is done we're going to do a gaming stream because we want to do one this afternoon we don't want to do one in the evening we want to do one in the afternoon <laughs> so why don't you have Naomi on your lap for the morning sip well Dev's stomach isn't feeling that well this morning so he it's didn't want actually. me sitting on his lap today so we decided to scooch out here <sighs> Artemis, I, I didn't Even see... though that's my favorite seed, but you know, I guess my thoughts don't matter. Shut up. <laughs> Artemis, I have seen some of what you sent me, yes. But I haven't, I haven't had a chance to dig into it yet. I'm working on a different video, actually, last night. Weekly dose of black pills. Thanks for the $5. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. I know I sort of mics those likes in quite a bit in the game shows I watch. Oh, yeah. Here, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll just pull it up real quick. Like, so... I can even show you guys. Uh, give, me, give me a second. Um, How big are Dev's feet? I don't know. You have pretty big feet, right? I think so, yeah. But they're more wide than, like, large. What size are you? I don't remember. Is it an eight? No, it's bigger than that. It's a nine. Nine uh, wide. Nine and a half, I think. Nine and a half wide. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> Hold on. I'm trying <clears throat> to find this here. and then. So camera or no balls? Well, neither one of us have balls, so... <laughs> Okay, here we go. All right. Come Let's on. Go to images. <laughs> Dev, so tired, doesn't remember how to use Google. Okay. <laughs> so listen, I'm going to pull this up real quick. Okay? So here's, here's the mic that I use to record the videos. And what, what I usually use whenever I'm talking on Discord or I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like streaming the weekly sip. Okay? And by the way, everyone has this fucking mic. Everyone has the, the Shure SM7B. It is basically the go-to entry-level professional mic. All right? Fucking, I think um, Destiny's got a bunch of them. Sargon's got a bunch of them. Fucking Mundane Matt grabbed one way back in the day. Uh, Joe Rogan's got them. Right? Basically, this became the gold standards for mics in the late 2010s for, like, podcasting mics. Um, it is a really nice microphone, to be honest. It has one fatal flaw that nobody using it ever fucking fixes. Mm -hmm. You need to get a preamp. I don't know what that is. A preamp, a, a preamp will boost, will boost the gain from the mic mm -hmm. without without getting any background noise. Mm. You need to get some kind of a preamp because everyone just uses it raw and it's so fucking quiet. Mm -hmm. And because no, no one knows how to set up a fucking mic, they just like just plug it in, right? No, no, no. You need a preamp. More expensive mics, like a mic that is over a thousand dollars, will have some of that shit built in. But this is like this is the go-to high-quality mic for podcasters and stuff. Yeah. Tidge, no, listen, you have to let him spurg out, otherwise he'll let just me spurg. Out. He'll just spurg out for longer. You gotta let him get <laughs> <Right>. it out. <laughs> this new sucks. Just run to the other room really fast to get the mic. No. <laughs> no, no, Citizen J. There are some. There are some even higher-quality mics that cost like over a thousand dollars that will actually not not have that problem. That will plug and play? <laughs> not exactly. Yes. But still. It's a good mic. It's a good mic. Okay. Yeah, fan, fan and power required. Yeah, so USB mics are underrated. Um, we we used an AT2020 and a Blue Yeti for a long time before I picked this up. I picked this up when I first started going full-time. Doesn't Dave still have the Yeti? Dave still has the Yeti, yeah. He, he, it's just his mic now. Yeah. He, 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 like, he had like a hand-me-down. Oh, and I have like a blue snowball for when I travel. Um... However, the mics that we use in the gaming show are these ones. The Sony ECM-77Bs. Block. Um, Just block it. Then it never pops up again. Oh. Uh, so this is a lav mic. 
and see how there's a little clip and it clips onto your shirt and you have this thing and then this cylinder attaches to your, to your, um, to your cord. And I've heard this preamp story a hundred times. Yeah, you have, Tidge, because you've been here for a while, right? It's okay, Tidge. Just go, just go somewhere else for like five <laughs> minutes and then come back. <laughs> so, like, this mic is probably less, um, what would, what would I say here? This mic is, let's say, doesn't, doesn't quite have the quality of this one, despite being a similar price, but this one is much tinier, and it clips to your shirt. And that's kind of the, the the pro of it, right? Okay, I like how you keep looking over at me, like I know what you're talking about. And Naomi I'm has no here. fucking clue what's I'm just going like, on. Tech stuff, yeah. <laughs> Naomi has no fucking clue what's going on. <laughs> uh, mm. Coffee is good. Mine's cold. Women, <laughs> why is your cold? Because I made it first, and then didn't organize myself properly this morning while making breakfast, so mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I had to sacrifice something being cold so the toast wasn't cold and it turned out to be my coffee. <laughs> right, right, right. So this was actually like a big fucking thing I had to go through guys recently. And... That's not even on the screen. I know, I'm gonna show, them, show it to them. So... Um, Red Letter Media uses either ECM 44s or or 66s. I don't know what they use. No, no, no. You know what it is? Okay, Red Letter Media uses either ECM 44s or ECM 77s. Now, the 77 is the direct upgrade to the 44. It's just smaller and higher quality and better, but the same thing. The issue is that they're both omnidirectional, right? So they pick up everything around. That's why when you're listening to Rhythm Media, sometimes you hear echoes of like the other guys talking. I mean, generally they're pretty good about editing. They're pretty good out, about it, yeah, but, but some, every once in a while you do hear it, yeah. So that makes sense for Rhythm Media. Oh, is that what happened last night? Maybe, yeah. We were watching that glitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's actually, like, like that's actually, um, you know, it's perfectly fine. However, because I'm doing a gaming show, there's echo from the TV mm -hmm. that's always present. Mm -hmm. So I bought the 66 in this series. You see how the 66 is much bigger yeah. than the 77 or the 44? Yeah. And the point of that is that it is it is, an, it is a, a unidirectional. Yeah. So it cuts out most of the TV echo. Yeah. And you know what? I had to go through all this shit <laughs> to figure out exactly how all this works. Because by the way, you can get a B-type, which is when the wire is just directly connected to the cylinder, and then you can get a BC type where there's like a Sony a proprietary connector, but it's literally the same product that also connects to like a proprietary cylinder. And you can also get like wireless packs. Like, I think I had to learn all this shit because you know what? I talked to a fucking guy at Sony asking him, how does this all work? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is, what's your point? Why are you even alive? You know? Because you have to talk to the people who made the fucking wires, Dev. <laughs> Not just some random fucking intern. <laughs> so yeah, like, I think, um, yeah, yeah, the ECM-88 is their, ulti their, their ultimate compact mic. Their 77 is, I think, what Red Letter, Red, Letter, Red Letter Media uses. And the 66 is what I picked up, even though it's much bigger, because it has that unidirectional quality that I need. In fact, you can see it here. Do you, do you see these patterns here? Like, this is, hey, do you have to zoom in on it maybe? Here, hold on, I'll zoom in on it for you guys. Zoom, 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 zoom. So you see, there's like, the, the orange circle is the pattern of all the sound it picks up. So like, the 88 picks up this, the 77 picks up this pretty uniformly. The 66 picks up only in front of the mic and way less behind. And that is a feature that honestly is pretty hard to get. And also, it's pretty hard to get in a lavalier mic. Which is why you probably sound a little bit strange right now. But... It's a really high quality product. So fuck you guys in the chat who are saying that I sound like shit right now. God damn it. Are you done? No. I'm going to keep ranting. <laughs> and you not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, who asked about our car? Somebody did. We ended up getting a 2018 Buick Encore because it was really fucking cheap and it was actually really good, surprisingly good quality. Those are just areolas, Dev. Yes. Also correct. <laughs> X-rays of the areola. 
Anyway, there's my rant. See, in the la in the third one yeah. is, is the cancerous aerial. Oh, is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is a Rhodes NT2000? That. Oh, yeah. So, th like, I guess the next big upgrade I have to do, Artemis, is maybe, like, a really good actual high-end microphone. Like, We're not maybe... doing that till we move. No, not till we move. I agree. Yeah, I'm not doing it now. Like, what, what I have now works just fine. Mm -hmm. But I do need to pick up something that's, like, really nice. Mm -hmm. Because the podcast mic, good. Mm -hmm. But I, I want something that's really nice. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just spoil yourself? Yes. Ah. I don't get anything else in life. True. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> So, how you guys doing? <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> I am now more tired than I was when I sat down. <laughs> uh, why? 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 Because you make me tired. <laughs> wait, is there not even like a pattern for this one? What the fuck? Don't worry about it, Dev. It's fine. Click. Oh wait, it's off. All, hold on. It's also unidirectional. Click off. Oh, it's only a wireless one. That's Click off. Oh, I should buy one of these. Click off. Click off. But why can't I buy? Click it? off. You can buy it. I don't care. Just talk about it later. We're all done with the mics. Look, look, look at this one. No, shut up. We're done with the mics. Stop it. Stop it. Stop hitting Stop it. me. Then click, then hit the X. Hit the X. Why did they do this? Look, okay, stop. Ow, they can't even see it. I don't care. Okay, I'm going to show them. Hold on. Guys. Damn it, Dev. I'm looking at this now, and I'm like, why did you invert this person's skin? Like, it feels good. <laughs> what's the point of that? Because they can't wear a skin suit, so that's the best they got. <laughs> God. <laughs> Day drinking? Cheers. I'm not day drinking yet. Not That'll be for the yet. gaming stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah. The reason we're doing this out here is because right after the weekly sit, we're going to start a gaming stream because we want to stream in the afternoon and not in the night. And we want all you guys to fucking stick around and not go leave and go do something else. Fuck you. You don't have to, though. I'll love you. No, you. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man, look at all these things. Devin! Okay, I'll look at it later. I'll look at it later. Fuck! I just found, like, 18 new products I gotta get. Jesus! Donate to the channel so I can product. Christ! <laughs> also, I haven't been able to see any of the... the Super Chats. Oh, yeah, they're over there. Yeah. Here, you know what? I'll pull up a Super Chat window real quick. And we'll read some Super, super Chats before we you actually get to it. You should stick it on that one, because we're not using that one for anything. Uh, I'll be moving this over there, actually, once we, once we uh, get to the... Shut up! Everything you do is complain. You know what? <laughs> yeah, everything you do is autistically rant about microphones. Ah! Stop! Stop! Shut up! <laughs> be quiet, woman. Okay. Uh... Consume product. Consume. It's not the peach one, and I haven't seen the first stream. No, we're not, we're not doing peach today, no. No, we're, we're playing else. more... Final Fantasy. Seven. Seven. Rebirth. Rebirth. <laughs> Beatings. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? <laughs> um, I know what sort of mics, though, it looks like. I've seen them quite a bit in the game shows I watch. Also, You've I'm ready for my weekly that. dose of black pills. Thank You've you, Tricky. Tara Shevenko for $5. Do you have any opinions about the dissident brain rot on the internet following the Moscow massacre? I haven't kept up with it. Are people, uh, are people screaming that, like... Are people screaming like, oh my god, dude, the fucking... Your mic's not even pointed at your mouth. Yeah, it was, but... Yeah, well, your boobs sagged it down. Okay, no, listen, I had it pointed this way, and then it moved that way, so I moved I'll, it that I'll way, and it hasn't moved. Nipple. No! Well, then it would be further away from my <laughs> mouth, you idiot. <laughs> um, I've seen some people be like, oh, Putin's false flagging himself, he did it. Like, that's just retarded. But I think I think most people are keeping their heads on about this one. The CIA did it. Yeah, it's so stupid. Of course they did. So dumb. You know what's funny is that me and one of my coworkers had a conversation about like Putin. He was just like, "Man, America should just go in and kill Putin." Or someone said, "I'm like, no, listen, you can't because then that would make him a uh, a martyr, and so yeah. it has to be someone from Russia who does it." <laughs> After that conversation, I was thinking, I was like, man, if we lived in Russia, we'd both be murdered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some hidden camera would have heard us talking about killing Putin. <laughs> yeah. Naomi should pizzeri the mic, yeah. I don't know what that means. Stick it between your boobs and squish it. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, lives in Dev's Walls for $5. In high school, I made a mic from an old, cheap piezo buzzer that sounded better than this. I took off my headphones to hear you better. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Sold you for $20. Thank you. 
Thanks very much, dude. I don't know what to say. It's late, so I'll give you some of my not hard-earned money. Anyway, I love you, Dev. If you were a trap, I would definitely get down and dirty. <laughs> Good night. I'm not All sure right, if dude. you would. If Dev was just a trap, it looked the same. It's not a trap. I'm not trapping anyone. Oh, okay. No one's getting trapped by me. All right. Wait, Tara Shevanko, any... live devmestic violence on stream. Yes. That's true. <laughs> I think that's it. Is it? Uh, so, chat, how are you doing? After your rant, probably bad. Did you guys like my, man, my rant? I don't think they did. Do you prefer condenser? Or dynamic microphones. Please give a detailed answer, says you the chat. Fuck. <laughs> Should I? Dynamic mics are less sensitive than condenser mics by design, so will usually require you to be right up close to the mic to get the best possible sound. Around five to fifteen centimeters or two to six inches from the diaphragm. And they generally need more gain to reach similar levels to their condenser counterparts. Here's the thing, like condenser mics tend to be um, they tend to be like lower quality but easier to use. And they pick up more sound. If you're gonna block the check, dynamic you at least put that mics. One on live. Dynamic mics, guys. They're actually higher quality but very quiet. So you must like you know, make them work. <laughs> make them work. <laughs> <laughs> Tid's just like, no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> the date's not wrong. The sip isn't. Oh no, today's the twenty fourth, not the not seventeenth. Sorry. Jesus Christ, Dev! Holy shit! <laughs> Sorry. God damn. I swear to God, your entire brain was just focused on we got to do it in a different room. And that <laughs> was much. it. You, yeah. don't, you forgot how to do the rest of your job. <laughs> Tidge is like angry dev. <laughs> I love you, Tidge. I'm sorry. Chat GPT mic comparison. Read by dev. No. I should look at I should do it. Dev, stop. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta stop. This is enough. No more talking about Mike. No more Mike's and no Trump. You're banned. Trump. <laughs> Want to talk about Trump? Ow. Ow. <laughs> Just get a FET line from your dynamic mic. It gives you a 500 dB boost on an XLR with phantom power. I swear to God, I'm going to go on my phone and just ban everyone else who's talking about Mike. Stop what, it. What, what's a FET line, though? Oh, I don't want to talk about mics anymore. Also, I don't think you have a access to mod uh, moderatorship on I'll the just YouTube. go on your computer and give myself mod access and then go do it. <laughs> oh, is that what you will do, Naomi? Yes, I know all your passwords. Oh, Naomi. <laughs> yeah, tough. <laughs> oh, Naomi. <laughs> I'm going to watch Chud instead. Okay, bye, Tidge. I no, understand. don't leave. No, Tidge, we're going to do something else. You fuck. You fucking traitor. Well, then, no, she's not a traitor. You've pushed her away. <laughs> Tidge, I'm going to sell you to a fucking brothel if you don't get back here right now. I'll sell you to a fucking bear brothel. <laughs> bear brothel? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, chat. Listen. What? If I'm going with Tidge. Fuck you. Okay, okay, chat. Listen. What should we talk about today? What do you want to argue about? What do you think? We should argue about the content of whatever articles you have set up. We, I do have some articles set up, and it has been about 23 minutes. Yes. So Let's I could keep get... setting new records of starting the articles early. Oh, do you yeah. want me to uh, start the articles then? Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> What's going on with the video on X with a bunch of Russians attacking a supposed terrorist? ISIS terrorist? Um, I think that's probably part of the, the Moscow thing. ISIS is claiming responsibility for the Moscow terrorist attacks. You know what I mean? No, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I didn't even know Moscow got attacked. That's how oh, out really? of the loop I am. Yeah. You know what? That should be the first thing that we do. Oh, yeah. Candace Owens was dropped by Daily Wire. It's like, all right, Candace Owens. Dude, you do whatever you're going to do. Wait, isn't it Candace Owens that right-wing black woman? Yep. Hey, I knew who someone was. Victory! Oh, <laughs> Here. I'll put it up right now. Damn, she's really pretty. You guys can't see the lady I'm looking at, but she's cute. Which one? The black girl with the curly hair and the amazing yeah. freckles. All right. You think ISIS actually did it, or they're just like, yeah, we did it, of course we did. Blame us. So we have some relevancy again. Maybe. Let's take a look at her, okay, guys? Here, I'll bring in the articles. <coughs> I'll bring in the articles, however... However, Chatterino. He done bats with me. I didn't. He didn't know either. <laughs> Real quick, please support the channel. 
Toss us the super chats. Toss us the Twitch subs. Toss us whatever money you have. Go ahead. If you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch sub. Go over to the Twitch and do that right now. Yeah, do it. Bear problem. Do it. Bear baiting a whole new meeting. Also, <laughs> here's the P.O. box. This P.O. box will be closing in July. The so, first of July. Don't say July. Say the first the of July. The first of July. So we'll, what we'll probably do is we'll probably stop advertising the P.O. box and completely take it down by the start of June. So if you want to send me stuff, you're running out of time. Because once the P.O. box closes, there won't be a new one until we move. Yep. Dems the plan. Dems the plans, mans. I just be, be like, notice says America, senpai. <laughs> No, Daily Wire is obviously right wing. Like, calm the fuck down with that. Honestly, the most the most sane voice on the Daily Wire is Ben Shapiro. He's like center right. Everyone else in there is far more right wing than him. Ben Shapiro, the gay guy. No, he's the um, he's the Jewish guy. I don't care. Ben Sh- the gay guy was Milo. He fucking went insane, dude. I thought C- Ben Shapiro was also gay. He was no, just secretly he, gay. He just no? looks gay. Oh, okay, yeah. maybe that's what I'm mixing it up with. <laughs> Anyway, that's the P.O. Box. Send send us stuff, you fucko. <coughs> yeah, my enjoyment of this stream is... I don't give a fuck about your enjoyment unless you're donating. Fuck you. Okay, <laughs> let's go to the articles then. Let's go to the articles. This is the articles right here. Nick Fuentes is the gay guy. Ah, oh, okay. yeah, he's one of the gay guys for sure. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> a new Islamic State video is back. Claim it carried at the Moscow Concert Hall attack. Okay, so... There was gunmen. They shot up a, Mo- a Moscow concert hall. A bunch of people died, mm-hmm. right? A bunch of fucking people died. That sucks. Um, let's see here. The Islamic State has released new videos of the attack on the Crocus City Concert Hall outside of Moscow. It left 137 people dead. Corroborating the terror groups claim to have masterminded the slaughter, even as Russia has sought to place the blame on Ukraine. Because, of course, Russia of wants course to... Russia yeah, did, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah, of, course of course, of course, of course. This is the deadliest ISIS claimed attack to date on European soil, and is the, if you can call Moscow part of Europe and not Asia, but okay, whatever. Um, Roy, five dollars, thanks, buddy. Here you go, Deb. Just because you asked so nicely, here's another weekly sip. Thanks, pal. Oh. I appreciate it. Yeah, 137 dead. This is like a this is pretty big for a terrorist attack. Like usually they only get like five or six, you know. Yep. Dev, give me a quick anime recommendation. Talk about head. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, listen. <clears throat> um, the videos which were published by the ISIS news agency Amak showed the gunmen filming themselves as they hunted concert goers through the lobby of the Crocus City Hall. That's fucking wild. And fired at them from point blank range, killing scores of people. At one point, one of the gunmen tells another to kill them and have no mercy. Russia's the initial day of mourning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it makes sense. Bring fu- flowers or the tributes to the, to the concert hall. For embassies in Moscow have also voiced a solidarity with the victims of terrorist attack. The flags were lowered to half mass at the embassies of the U.S., UK, and Netherlands amid high tensions over the war in Ukraine. Eleven people have been detained, including the four gunmen. Oh yeah, I saw. By the way, like they caught some of the gunmen, and I saw the pictures. Mm-hmm. I don't think, they're not going to be in this article, I'm sure. I saw the pictures of like what they looked like after they had been fucking tortured. Holy fuck! Russia went to town on those guys. Of course they did. They fucking went to town on them. I feel like I feel like whenever I think of the word like revenge or vengeance, like co- Russia kind of comes to mind if you have to think of a country. One guy got a, got a, like his eye gouged out. Yeah. I saw a picture of the guy lying there with his eyeball out of his head, and I'm like, holy fuck, Jesus Christ! See, this is what I have you for to look at gruesome 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 pictures and then tell mm-hmm. me about them so I don't have to look at them. <laughs> <laughs> Kiev has denied any links to the attack and has indicated it believes Moscow is preparing a pretext to escalate the conflict. I, I mean, that's obvious. That, that B word. That is what voice reversely because I can't pronounce it. Okay. So, listen. <laughs> here, here's the issue, right? No, they were like Muslims, dude. They're not black. The issue ultimately is like, it's all. It's probably not Ukraine, and Russia's probably going to blame Ukraine. Then Russia's probably going to use it to attack Ukraine more. Maybe get a, maybe get a few more recruits mm. because m- remember remember after uh, after nine eleven like America was ready to go to war with the entire world if they had to like they were like fuck it like every American was on board yep. they were like total war more let's fucking go yep. so I I would imagine that this is probably galvanizing support at home in Russia probably yeah mm. <sighs> one of the many reasons why Islamic barbarians that should be colonized Giga Chad. 
Ruben the Vosh and Hassan take on this? No idea, man. No idea. Have not paid attention. For once. For once. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. The U.S. said it received intelligence that the inter- terror group acted alone. ISIS bears sole responsibility for the attack. There was no Ukrainian involvement whatsoever. I did see someone say that, like, one of the ISIS Muslims was Ukrainian, though. I don't know if that's going to be reported in this article, but oh. I'll see if I can find it. V O S I F E R I S L Y. V O S I F E R I S L Y. Nope. <laughs> oh, vociferously. Vociferously. Wait, Victoria Newland is evil. That was just some Who the fuck is Victoria Newland? Who is this person? If she's a hottie, I don't care. <laughs> she's not a hottie. I don't even know who this person is, dude. <laughs> There's an about right there. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. okay. Stop blocking the chat. No, hold on. I want to find that confirmation that it was a Ukrainian guy. You can, there's no such thing as an actual confirmation from Russia. They just lie about everything. No, somebody else said it. A gunman tried to escape to Ukraine. I'm probably not going to be able to find it. I saw it yesterday. I'm not going to be able to find it today, I don't think. Nope. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> Russian officials and state media have largely ignored ISIS's claims to be behind the attacks. Uh, Medusa, an independent Russian language website, has reported that the Russian state funded and pro government media have been instructed by the Putin administration to emphasize possible traces of Ukrainian involvement in the attack. <laughs> of course. Who's surprised? <laughs> Prominent state television host, Olga, whatever, claimed on Telegram that Ukrainian military intelligence had recruited assailants who would look like ISIS, but this is no ISIS. Putin did not name the Islamic the Islamist terror group during his public statements on the attack, while directly accusing the Ukrainian side of involvement. Actually, yeah, that's a good question. How many terrorists are involved? Like a dozen, I think. Hmm. Don't you remember Rambo? Russia invaded Afghanistan and the Middle East first. <laughs> <laughs> Rambo was great. What a great movie. Damn, that's a lot of flowers. Well, that was a lot of people who died. <laughs> yep. Damn. R.I.P. Are you going to read this entire article? No, there's a lot here. Yes, and there is. It's kind of going over the same thing over and over. Yeah. Yeah. So, this happened, guys. Yep. Life is sad. I should probably sound more sad, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Naomi, you're an asshole. Yeah. That's what happens when I'm tired. Wake up! No! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Good morning, buddy. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. It's time to start the day. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. I sure love the post-1989 peace in Europe that I keep oh. hearing about. Dude, it's actually been quite peaceful compared to before, you fucking moron. <sighs> what? I'm coming. Get off me! No. <laughs> You're so mean to me. The mics just make her sound not sad. Yes, that's what we're going to go with. <laughs> What's next, though? Oh, yeah. There's a, been a massive Apex Legend hack that has disrupted the North American finals. Okay, yeah, I heard about that. I'm actually interested to hear what zo- happened. I'm going to zoom in on it. Because all I did was read the title article, and I was like, oh, it's Apex. I'm kind of interested, but I don't really care. I don't really care that much. Yeah, same. Let's see what's going on. Something rather terrifying has, dispu- has disrupted the North American finals of Apex Legends. And players are now starting to potentially worry about their own accounts and overall safety of the game. Yeah, apparently this is actually like a really big hack. Mm-hmm. Like, it actually could fuck up actual like actual players. Like, Womp. Due to the competitive integrity of this series being compromised, we have made the decision to postpone the NA finals at this time. Undawn fiasco. What are you talking about? Vodka Latte. Thanks for joining the D-Club, buddy. I appreciate it. I'm not sure if a vodka latte would actually taste Probably good. Probably not. Respawn and EA have postponed the North American Finals in the wake of the competitive integrity of the game being compromised. This involved a wild situation where someone was giving the pros hacks like aimbots and wall hacks as they were playing in the finals event. Wait, as they were playing? Effectively ruining the entire thing without actually having to cheat. Here's what that looked like. So I, I did see this and apparently like somebody else was turning on hacks on the pros accounts. Amazing. <laughs> and, and presumably to fuck with the game. <laughs> The right. most yeah. epic Jen troll. Jen Burton getting hacked mid-game. Okay. 
Should we save this? Why didn't you just press play? Because the audio is not on for either us or them. I must set it up. Hold on. Ding. There we go. That's pretty loud, though. Okay. And for you guys... Can you play the game? Bro, I'm getting hacked. I know, but can you play? Can you play? Yeah, but I'm, it's cheating. The fuck? I know, I know, just sure. I know, I know, I know. Oh my god, dude. Like, what? No, but is what? it fucking up your game? Yes, I can see everyone. Like, I'm... You need to leave, you need to leave, you need to leave. I, I need to leave the game, right? Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. It's like what the? F admins now. Nick, admins now. Nick, admins. Now. Nick, admins. Oh. Admins now. Like, admins now. Restart your game. Rejoin. Oh no, you left the match. Did you close your game? Leave the match. I left. Jed, I had to leave. Did you leave the match? I have to. Yes, I have to. Yes, I have to. I have to leave. I left. Like, bro. Fine, we win this. Come on. Come on, you got that, boys. Come on. Yep. Someone just fucked with them. Yep. You got that. Break the wall. They're fucking dying. Okay, now I don't I'm care. Thinking, I I <laughs> yeah. Rip. Is this a Fortnite? No, it's Apex Legends. It's more similar to Overwatch than Fortnite. I'm getting, I'm getting hacked. I know, I know. Can you play the game? Bro, I, I'm getting hacked. Know, okay, you, you just play? played it. What are you doing? Why? The, the fuck? hack is that you can see where everyone is and you can't see like, them. What? That's the point. Is that you can't see them. Yes, I can see everyone. Like I'm. You need to leave. You need to leave. You need to leave. I didn't leave the game, right? Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> Man. Well, there we go. Is this a dev trolling this dude, or is it some like loser trolling him? Do you think? Is it some like troll? Is like, I think just it's just some, this guy. <laughs> some troll. Yeah, I don't think it's a dev. I think it's just like a troll who just like a troll? figured out dev hacks. Yeah, maybe. Yep. Next. Hold on. I played this game where a dev joined just to spawn weird NPCs and hack with a rocket launcher. Maybe it was it could, a dev. It could then. be a dev fucking around, yeah. <laughs> dev See, is just like, I hate my fucking life. Let's fuck with everyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there we go. The literal panic in his voice at 13 seconds breaks my heart. Poor guy sees his career flashing from his eyes. I, I want to do a video on this topic because I've been thinking about it. I actually think that professional level gaming mm -hmm. and to a lesser extent streaming mm -hmm. have ruined video games. You think so? Yeah. Because now like... Let's say you want to, you know, you, you want to relax, right? You want to mm -hmm. come home after a long day of work. You want to sit down, play a couple hours of Overwatch, play a couple hours of Apex okay. Legends. Overwatch doesn't fucking count anymore. Hold I don't on. speak its name. Whatever, whatever. Don't doesn't doesn't its matter. Name. Doesn't, doesn't, matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Any game. Pick pick a game. Doesn't matter if you like it or not. A game that you that you, that you would play. And the idea is like, I just want to relax, mm -hmm. you know? And you go on, and there's a bunch of fucking tryhards who are like, who are going hardcore, and they're trying to like, like do they do hyper well because you know that if you get to the top of that game, you can be a streamer, mm -hmm. you can be a pro gamer, mm -hmm. you can get signed to like a team, and like there's now there's money involved, right? Mm -hmm. So these people are like, you know, going as hard as they fucking can and like ruining it for everyone who just wants to hang out. Well, I mean, half the point of playing a cooperative video game, half the fun is winning. <laughs> well, yeah, but also like no half the fun is winning. Listen, if I'm randomly I, I teamed it. up with a tryhard, I'm gonna be like, yes, group with me, so I can win because you're trying so hard. I will support you. No, I get you. it, but also like, <laughs> it does take take some of the fun out of the game. I think. Nah, you just mute them. <laughs> you just mute them, and if they leave your group, they're just like, ah, yes, they rage quit. <laughs> yeah, Dagoth just plays single player games. The issue with single player games is the same thing kind of happens, but now you get into speedrunning, right? Because people also make careers about okay. About well, speedrunning's speed been around forever. Yeah, it, has, it has. But here's what I mean, though. Like, if you're turning on your stream to like play, to, like casually play a game, you're not taking off unless you're a speedrunner. You know what I mean? And there's and there's always going to be that pressure of I need to take off. So. It's one of those things where it's like, I, I just have a feeling that the the commodification of not just the game, but the act of playing the game might be one of the things ruining gaming right now. Oh, there's two. I gotta think about it, though. There's two. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Thank you, guys. Uh, $10 on Metal Face. Metal Face Rosé. <laughs> thank you. You should do a video on the rise and fall of the abridging community. It's a fascinating part of internet history. Both Linkara and Oni were in DBZ abridged. I should, actually, because I, like, yeah. Wait, to interrupt, how streamers ruined gaming by Cameron, posted five months ago. Oh. So I guess someone else already did the video? Well, of course they did, Dev. You're slow on everything. Oh, fucking no. <laughs> I'll just do it anyway. I don't care. Um. Um. 
Taras Shevenko for $5. I just felt a, set of, a sense of dread in the late 2010s when game studios started calling their games eSports ready. Oh, fuck, that's also, that's also terrible, too. Mm -hmm. Like It's like, we made this game to be an eSport. It's like, can't you just make a game? Like, I can pull out an old SNES game and like no one's eSport in that unless they're, unless they're speedrunning it. But like, still, you know? Dev is just upset his cycle. What the fuck? Correct. Fu <laughs> Get the fuck. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's continue on. Wait, did you read the other one? I did. I read, oh, yes, I read you both did. of okay. them, yeah. Thank I you, know thank you for the donations, on. guys. Thank you. Game streams are boring unless the streamer themselves is engaging. Correct. Which is why ours... Oh, the camera's not even on. Which is why ours <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Good job, Dev. I love you. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Let's continue on, chat. Why not? What does the actual article say past this, though? It's unclear the extent of the breach. Okay, hold on. The one got banned from the game from using an aimbot sheet. Oh, my God. Yeah, people are pretty hardcore about the aimbots. They just auto, like, automatic detect, banned forever. No, yep. you can never come back. You yep. used an aimbot. <laughs> yep. there, there is some concern that it might not just be for messing with the pros at the finals, but a larger security issue with the entire game that could affect the wider player base. Some creators are claiming on social media they've scanned their PCs and are finding viruses. Though there's so much panic going around, there's no evidence it has to do with this hack. If the hack could breach a, pl a pro match, it would seem to be something that could breach normal players, even if they're not actually doing so right now. Oh, damn. Damn, bro! That's fucked up! Many believe this is the work of one hacker, Destroyer2009. He's pretty, <laughs> he's pretty young. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Destroyer2009, who has previously been hacking pros, and this was an RCE remote exploit using their PCs. None of that's been confirmed. Damn. Dave, what political route did you take for Disco Elysium? Oh, fascism, obviously. Of course. That makes perfect sense for you. Waste. Stop! I don't like Why? this! This is too warm. It's not warm at all! I want it colder. God. Don't just <sighs> stick your fucking smelly legs on me. I'm a smelly one here. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Give me your foot. Let me see. No. <laughs> Give me your foot. My foot is the exception. You said leg. <laughs> <laughs> your leg, your foot's part of your leg. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Nope. Yes, it is. Nope. It's it's detached. <laughs> I will detach it if you want. <laughs> Okay, so the hackers have now given two Apex Legends pro players um, cheats in the middle of, of a match. Imperial How has also been hacked and forcibly aimbot on his computer. Okay, let's see. Full screen it, you fucking. I hate computers. They never do what they're supposed to do. Like fucking ever. Okay, wait, no, I'm back. Yeah. I'm cheating. No, I'm, I, I can't shoot. I can't shoot. I literally cannot shoot. I can't shoot. I cannot shoot. I'm dead from over here, Jordan. Get inside. Get inside. I don't have this mode. Wow. I can't even tell he's cheating. Hold on. Okay, wait. No, I'm back. Yeah. I'm cheating. No, I'm. He's like, I'm cheating. I'm cheating. Shoot. I can't okay. shoot. I literally cannot shoot. All right. Well, damn, dude. So, yeah, people are starting to say that um, this might actually be a wider problem with the game. Maybe. Like, this is a, this is a big fucking uh, problem in, in the actual code of the game that anyone could just, like, turn this shit on. Yeah, that, yeah. that seems like... If it, if it turns out it's not a dev, that is actually a pretty big thing with the game. But if it's a dev, it's just a dev fucking around and need, they need to, like, probably treat their employees better. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, well. Don't launch Apex. Hold on. There is currently an RCE exploit. Can we, can we see this? There is currently an RCE exploit being abused in Apex Legends. It isn't sure whether it comes from the game or the actual anti-cheat. I advise against playing any games directed by EAC or any EA Towns with these sexes can comment. The RCE is being abused to inject cheats into streamers' machines, which means they have the capabilities of do, to do whatever, like installing ransomware software, locking up your entire PC. That's right. <laughs> the ALGS was definitely hacked in the cheat menu had a checkbox called Vote Putin. <laughs> wow. Can we can we see? 
Where? Where? Like below here. On my ping. I knocked him there. Yep. Wait. Wait. What the? F what the fuck? Yeah, that's where you can see everything. Hacked, I know. I know. It's sure. Can you play the game? Bro, I I'm getting hacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but show us the I, actual I, I, thing. I left. I left. Oh, it's not gonna. Okay, <laughs> just the same clip. All right. Fine. <laughs> You know what I hate about multiple articles being put out about stories is that they yeah. all just have the same fucking clips. And I'm just like, I've seen this 20 fucking times. Use different clips. <laughs> so this is from Destroyer 2009. Do you actually have an RCE for Apex? or is a purity server side. RCE. Just confirming the RCE has nothing to do with R5, right? R5 devs are freaking out because I'm okay. Yeah. So th this guy fucking just made it. Like, he just fucking made this thing. Now you can just hack. You just fuck your computer. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, all of these kernel level anti cheats create vulner vulnerabilities in your computer. Yeah, that's why they're so fucking terrible. Hmm. Yeah. Honestly, if someone has if someone has like a thing like that, just fucking pirate the game. Just pirate it, dude. Yep. Fuck them. Yep. Anyway, is there anything more to this? I'm not sure. I think it's all just more update. Uh, we are confident there is no RCE vulnerability within EAC being exploited. Sure. It sounds like you got fucked. It sounds like you got fucked. Yep. And that's that. Let's continue on. I know. Uh, next Twitter, article. I know. Oh, wait. Hold on. Ne okay. Wait. 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 There we go. <laughs> A visit to one of Germany's all-you-can-fuck brothels. Sign me up! <laughs> For $135, you can stay there until dawn, drinking and fucking as much as you can handle. Holy shit. That's really fucking cheap. Holy shit. That's actually really cheap. Yep. What? What? How? What? 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 Okay. The King George Brothel in Berlin opens at 4 p.m. Monday through Sunday, excluding the Christmas holidays. For 99 euros, you can stay there until dawn when the first street cleaners are passing and drink as much as you like and have sex as much as you like with Claudia, Katja, Petronella, Alina, Barbie, and whichever of the 27 staff members are perched on the velvet stools and leather booths beneath the many red lights next to the bar. <laughs> yeah, where? Wow. King George Brothel in Berlin. The there King George is Germany's first flat rate brothel. It's the sex industry's answer to the global recession. In Berlin, there are about half a dozen of them. The brothels themselves prefer calling it all inclusive rather than flat rate. This is sex, after all. It's not text messaging or long distance calls. <laughs> but, like, if someone goes there at four and stays there till dawn, they have made more than their fucking money's worth with the fucking and the drinking. I mean, maybe. $135 is really fucking cheap. Like, even, fuck, like, unless you're, like, just going to a fucking, like, random fucking drug-addled whore on the street who's just, yeah. like, 10 bucks for a blow job, yeah. you know? Like, most prostitutes are fairly expensive. I mean, you know what you could do? You, you could just, you could just like, go in, like, high on cocaine and, and fucking um, constantly popping erection pills and just fuck until you die. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, what a way to go! You, 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 could, you, could, you could like you, you know what you could do. You, you could bring in like a rape orc and have him Jesus go to town. Dev. Stop bringing hentai into this. This is real world fucking. <laughs> Alina works the door. She's wearing this pink tube dress. It covers her body like a bun covers a hot dog. When she gets up from her chair, the dress zips up over her ass until she jigs it down again with her fingers. The rest of the girls wear the same dress in different grades of pink. It's mm. like a house uniform. Zipping up and down, flashing bare bum and bits of crotch as they walk around in stilettos that make them look like those fishermen's houses built on stilts. <laughs> the ones that don't outlast storms or oil slicks. They all smoke cigarettes. Yeah, he seems like not the greatest women, dude. <laughs> well, listen, to be honest, if, if you're a prostitute in a brothel, your life's probably not going that great. Yeah, that's true, No I offense, guess. No offense to the prostitutes, but yeah. you know. Unless you really like that sort of thing, and that's just what you want to do. Yeah, I guess. And power to you. <laughs> yeah, I guess, dude. Okay, what does the super chat say? Let me see it. Thank you, by the way. Five dollars from Tricky Mario. I bet Hassan will be making a one-way trip there very soon. I heard he likes brothers. You mean brothels? Brothels, but yeah. also not. Nah, everyone's here sounds too old for him. Can we, can we go back and talk about microphones, please? No. <laughs> You'll hear okay. about the, the sex sluts yeah. and the tube dresses. <laughs> Mal Malboros or Chesterfields with health warnings written in acrylic. And everything inside, from the drink in your hand to the seat you lean on, smells like cotton candy. That's pretty nice. It probably doesn't yeah. actually smell like cotton candy. It probably smells like booze, sex, and sadness. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I tell them I'm just writing a story, they take out their phones, start eating pizza, and pluck stray hairs from their bikini lines. The same things they would have done if I told them I was gay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the layout of the building is an homage to the penis itself. A long, narrow bar leads into two tight networks of small rooms with white, clean beds and showers and lighting that you'd never want to read a book under. <laughs> Europop plays from tiny speakers hidden high up in the shadows. I've never been to a nightclub in Dubai, but I imagine that beyond the mirrored dance floors, the, the Swarovski glasses, and the $5,000 table reservations, the DJ's got the same bad collection as the King George. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the music? I ask Alina. What music? She says. <laughs> oh my fucking God. What? <laughs> wow. This is the funniest article we've read in a long time. <laughs> Can I ask you Wolf $5? This doesn't look like RCE. It looks like they had already had hacks installed and the hacking group remotely activated it to fuck with them. Oh, that's a possibility too, yeah. Yep. I knew a few prostitutes. They all did hard drugs and were really gross. Yep. Yeah. I've known a few uh, people who work in the porn industry. Same thing. Yeah. I feel like like probably those really, really high class escorts yeah. are some of the few people who are like, don't. Like, don't have to turn to hard drugs. Like, I'm mm -hmm. talking about the people who are, like, $500 an hour, you know? I know what you mean, dude. They don't even have to have sex, too, because that's even higher. <laughs> $500 an hour just to go on a date with the escort. <laughs> the majority of the women are from Eastern Europe. Claudia is from Austria, and she's a celebrity in person. Men request her for 200 euros an hour. Mm. Alina says, she, says she's from Napoleon, but she misses the scene in her home. But Alina... I, in her accent, no, her home isn't Italy. It's probably Romania. The same goes to the girls speaking Spanish, like Petronella and Barbie. They learn it growing up in Romania, watching Spanish telenovelas. Telenovelas. No, tele whatever, telenovelas. And they speak because it's fun, she says. And it is fun for to be Spanish. But in Germany, where being Romanian is the only thing that makes people mad is kitty fiddling, it's good sense, too. <laughs> ah! Obviously, they lie about their age. Someone who looks in their 40s is allegedly in her 30s, and the 30-year-olds are all 19. Yes, of course, too old for Hassan. They have to be, like, just 18 <laughs> or younger. <laughs> but I guess that's a symptom of the dishonest premise that brothels are built on. Of course. The women act like the men are interesting and desirable, and the men convince themselves they actually are. Correct. <laughs> the men start arriving as the factories and shops close for the day. They're in uniform, too. steel toe boots, Snickers work pants with some gray t-shirt tucked in. So, so, so best to highlight the arch of their gut. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. It's my favorite article. <laughs> we need to read more Vice articles. <laughs> we cater tr for taxi drivers, the unemployed, guys who aren't making much more than 1,500 euros a month. Mm -hmm. Urban bought the King George more than six years ago. It was a strip club before that. He grew up in East Germany where his first taste of the oldest job in the world was renting out apartments by the hour for a family friend. When the wall came down, Urban moved south to Bavaria before deciding he ought to return to Berlin. A smile is the most important thing in a prostitute, he says. They don't have to be pretty. In fact, it's often they're not. <laughs> it's it's better, often better that they're not. What you want is a sort of girl who can still turn on some charm after 12 hours sitting down with nothing to do. Did you just, like, slap my mic? Oh, did I? Sorry. <laughs> I wanted fuck, to slap Kev? something else. Yeah. Well, fucking, apparently you need glasses to have better aim. Okay, here, I'll, <laughs> you know what? You know what? Go <laughs> Yeah. I'm interesting and desirable. That's why I'm going to a brothel. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like, fucking. <sighs> Brothels are so sad. They are. The brothels are so sad, man. It's just, you think about it, and it's like, man, lots of, like, used up women who are all fucked, nothing else going on. Lots of used up men going. <laughs> lots of men showing up and it's like, oh, I need to pretend that I'm good. <laughs> I mean, God. it's better than the back alley prostitutes, though. I guess. They all have STDs. Hopefully the brothel screens, but you know, you never know. Depends on the... Considering how cheap this brothel is, maybe they don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Urban comes across as likable. The girls support the argument. Claudia tells me he's too kind. He loans the girls money. He bought her a $300 handbag. But you can't tell the other girls that. Does he fuck them too? No, Urban says. The minute you do that, you're not respecting them as an employee, and it can cause problems between the girls. But who does he fuck then? I do have a girlfriend, but finding someone to build a family with me because they're my business, that's hard. You, you, you know what he should probably do? He should go steal another pro, like another prostitute from a different brothel. And fuck them? She, no, 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 yeah, she would understand, but he, he doesn't put her in his brothel. He just, like, that, that'll be his wife. But she okay. will still be a prostitute. $2, Sean King, do they have a shaved orangutan? 
<laughs> you know about that? No. But... I get to sh I'll have to show you that after this. Oh, God. I, I, how about no? The girls have families, though. Claudia has a 17-year-old daughter. She picks her, her up from work at night, and they go eat kebabs together. Do you think that Claudia's 17-year-old daughter is proud of her mother for being a prostitute? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> you think Claudia, she's going to become it, a prostitute? Claudia is also a nurse. She's useful to have in the brothel, but less so in the real world, when she only earns 1,300 euros a month. A good night at the King George gets her 600 euros a month. She does okay as a prostitute. She holidays in Ibza in the summer and the Alps in the winter. A lot of the money isn't even from sex. The men just want to talk or share a bottle of champagne with me. I'll often have three of them here at once, sitting in the jacuzzi and laughing. I, thought I don't know. I did not read jacuzzi. I just saw J and Z, and I was like, <laughs> jizz. <laughs> <laughs> Five dollars from Jiggy Tal Zone. Thank you. Troll toll and new mic fund. It sounds like a big decision. Play... It scrolled away. Played the new Alone in the Dark game? Been hearing no. good things. No, I haven't, man. I haven't played Alone in the Dark since the 360 game, to be honest. I didn't say sex work isn't valid and good, but most of the time it's sad. It's not valid and good at all. Well, listen. Horror should be burnt at the stake. There's always been whores. There always will be whores. They so... will never be cold. What? They will never be cold. If you burn them at the stake, then they'll be dead and their body will be cold, you stupid fuck. No, but there'll, was, there'll be a new whore to burn. So we always, we'll always have a fire going. You're an idiot. Because <laughs> you, you said there's always been whores. So there you go. I'm going to kick you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It isn't just about sex. Urban's got it all worked out. The average flat rate customer fucks 2.7 girls. The rest of that time, he's drinking at the bar, feeding coins in the poker machine, maybe even having a lie down in one of the rooms on his own. How do you fuck 2.7 girls? That's an average. It's an average, dude. Yeah, but why, how is there a 0. 0.7? Like, what counts as the half? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Some guys do two. Some guys do three. They average it out to 2.7. Just round it up. <laughs> Fine. They actually just, they just kill a girl and fuck 0. 0.7 of her body. <laughs> That's what they do. Oh no, it's a trap. That's what it is. Oh, traps. oh okay. Man, imagine <laughs> some girls only one leg. Dude, imagine going to a brothel and there's actually there's like both girls and traps there. So it'd be your favorite place. Like, Whoa! <laughs> um, actually, that's probably pretty dangerous because like there's gonna be some guy who doesn't know and he like beats the shit out of the trap because he got mm -hmm. trapped. Yeah, yeah. probably pretty dangerous. Yeah. Um, well, unless you have just like two different sections of here's all the girls. If you go left, you'll have traps. If you go right, you'll have real woman. <laughs> what if you want both though? Well, then that's go what the middle, room <laughs> the middle is for. The middle room. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Traditional brothels are uncomfortable for a lot of men. They rush you in and out, and some guys get nervous and can't perform. Here, a customer can treat it like, like his own pub, and they have time to talk to the girls. So this feels like a, like a really sketchy, um, oh, what are those called in Japan? Es no, they're not escorts. What are it's a thing that was in Yakuza, where they have girls at the hostess the clubs. Yeah, the soap lands. Hostess clubs. Yeah. I want men to have sex 20 times in a night. That's wild. That's a lot of sex. Yeah, it is. To be honest. Yep. Depends on how long it is, though. All right, right? chat. So if if the guy's just like a like a <laughs> pump and dump, then it, then twenty times a night mm. is fine. <laughs> chat, just out of curiosity, how many times have you had sex in one day? <laughs> oh yeah, Mark the Cyborg says, "Hey, somebody sometimes people like having sex with one-legged people." He has one leg. Yeah. He 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 lost it, in, I think in Iraq or Afghanistan. Ah. Oh. I mean, probably. sorry, dude. You, you, honestly, with only one leg, you, dep like, depending, you probably do a lot of different, like, fun positions that you can't do with two legs. Yeah. You know? More, so, more with girls than guys, though. I mean, yeah, but you can yeah. probably do fun positions with girls, too, because you can get, like, listen, different angles. Nah, man. Listen, if a girl has, like, no legs, you can just, like, fleshlight her. It's real easy. Why do you have to make it gross? I'm not. It's just, it's just you're making it gross. It's just normal. No, you're making it gross. <laughs> zero, five or six, zero, zero, lots of zeros. Oh, my God. Four to six in one day, three-ish. Yeah, for me it was three. The mo Tidge, five or six. Yeah, but Tidge, you're bottoming for all of them, though. So your butthole's probably gone. <laughs> I think mine was only three. Uh, yeah, it's, it's three for me as well. Yeah. After three times, I have no energy or desire. Yeah, same. 
I, like I've had sex three times in one day, and then I'm like, I'm done. Well, <laughs> I'm yeah, going well, that, to bed. that's the thing. Though. You have to take like the whole day to like do it, and like even then, like like actual like the sex is like completion of like guy inserting to coming like finish is usually only three times. But honestly, if you yeah. take like the whole day to do it and like relax, and like you guys are still like kind of like playing around with each other, then like the sex technically lasts for the whole day. As long okay. as you're not just taking it, like, super seriously. It's like, oh, Hold yes, on. I must come 80 fucking times. I have never just lied in bed and done sex things for the whole day. What a waste of a day. Well, no, you take breaks and, like, you eat, you know, stuff, watch a movie, maybe, maybe go out for a walk to give yourselves a break and enjoy nature and then come back and or have sex in the woods, you know? Like In the woods? <laughs> 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 Take a break, go have sex in the woods, then come back and have more sex and go, go have sex celebrate in the, having sex in the woods. <laughs> go have sex in the woods and read your fucking woods porn at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, also, I'm not saying you should do that all the time, but, like, for example, on a honeymoon, that's something that could be expected to just hang out and do sex all day. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're not getting married. Yeah, I know. I'm already well aware and already <laughs> said so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go outside and smell. Yeah. <laughs> what a waste of a day. Yeah, man, listen. I don't want to just lie in bed. I, okay, I've actually done the thing where, like, I've lied in bed all day, even with someone, and I've just, like, at, like, hour two, I'm like, I need to get the fuck out of bed. I'm so done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. The girls, they even come back. Katja from Hungary has two children. As a qualified care worker, we can't find work right now. She's back at the King George for the moment. Does she like it? Sometimes not really. You're not supposed to like it work, though. <laughs> Oh my god, Naomi. <coughs> Do you have water? <coughs> I'm gonna go get some. <coughs> I'll be back. Take your mic off. Don't forget it. I'm not gonna. Can you get me some too? <coughs> Actually, there's no fucking way Titch Tops. I don't, I don't even believe it. Here, can you take my mic? My, uh, take this. <coughs> no, just put it there. Take okay. it, take it. Grab it later. God damn it, woman. <coughs> okay, listen. There are more red lights inside the King George than all the junctions in Germany. On a on a bad night, a girl will come away with 100, 100 euros. For every euro a customer spends, the, world, the woman makes 50 cents. Extras, like blowjobs without condoms, anal kissing can earn her extra. Because it's Germany and prostitution is not illegal. They pay tax on it. And their contribution will go to building schools, hospitals, bridges, and booths for German soldiers in Afghanistan. Um, <laughs> must be an older article. I don't think you're in Afghanistan anymore. <coughs> <clears throat> she has a weathered tattoo on her shoulder. It used to be, it was her first one as a teenager, and it says love. It's silly. She says, love, I asked? No, just the tattoo. Well, there we go. What a dumb article. <laughs> Listen, chat, thank you for the super chats and all the support today. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Their taxes now go to immigrants, yeah. Hello, and I am back from puking up a lung. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Next article. A male humanoid robot was unveiled in Saudi Arabia. It then inappropriately touched a female reporter. Who surprised base, not me. Base, 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 <laughs> base, 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 base. Teach your robots to molest women. Base, 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 base. Ow! <laughs> 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 What's wrong there? You're an idiot. That's what. <laughs> God. I'm not an idiot. Based, based, X to based, based, based. Sound like those seagulls from Finding Nemo going, my, okay. my, 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 my. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. A Saudi, a Saudi robotics company's unveiling of a male humanoid robot didn't go as planned after it appeared to inappropriately touch a female reporter. The Saudi robotics company, QSS, debuted Muhammad the Humanoid Robot at DeepFest last week. The robot, dressed in traditional Saudi attire, spoke Arabic and English. In a DeepFest post on X, Muhammad was described as the first Saudi robot in the form of a man as well as a national project to highlight Saudi Arabia's AI achievements. <laughs> During a presentation, a reporter for Al-Arabia, Al Rawia Qasim, stood in front of Muhammad as she spoke to the audience. A viral video of the incident showed the robot appearing to extend a hand for it to touch her backside. Thanks for the $5, Ron. Oh, can we see it? 
in the clip. Kasim can be responding with a stern glare followed by a raised palm at Muhammad before she continues to talk. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Jesus. There is audio to it, but you guys didn't hear it, so I'll... I barely heard it, and I'm right here. <laughs> okay, here. Actually, yeah, it's very quiet, isn't it? You know what, fuck it, we'll just play it again. Audio's not really necessary. Check this out. Grope. Stop. <laughs> Gropes later, Muhammad. Later. <laughs> and to me to the robot. <laughs> just grab that ass, dude. Based. Damn it, Dev, shut up. <laughs> Social media users have accused Robot of inappropriately touching the female reporter. Okay, so uh, the robot was fully autonomous and was operating independently without direct human control. So, ro no, listen, Kasim is so attractive that even robots are just like, must <laughs> touch the cake. <laughs> 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 she should really take it as a compliment. <laughs> yeah. Based? Yes, Naomi, now no. you understand. No, it take was a joke. <laughs> Take it as a compliment. No, yeah, I mean, stop. While I grope you. Stop. <laughs> Fondue, two dollars. It's her fault for not covering up. Based. All gross. <laughs> <laughs> the chat is so based today. Chat. You guys are the best. Ron, thanks for the super chat without a... Without a I already uh, responded. A, without a, a That's message. That's why I said thank you for the five dollars, uh. Ron. You don't listen when I talk, do you? Because you're a woman. <laughs> I'm kidding. Fuck you. I can tell that one. You're so I can fucking tell mean that joke really time. bothered you. All the time. <laughs> no deviations from expected behavior. No deviations. From you being an idiot? Yes. <laughs> I should have I should have assumed. <laughs> okay, so the robotics firm firm said that the staff had proactively informed all attendees, including the reporters, to maintain a safe distance from the robot during its demonstration. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Review the footage. Uh, there were no deviations from behavior. Yeah, so I think basically it was doing something else, but it looked like a butt grab. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which is why it's so funny. Yep. It would take additional message to, measures to prevent anyone from getting too close to the robot within its areas of movement. Okay, okay. It was always a mistake, but it's really funny. Yeah. It was just it's just a hilarious, unfortunate mistake. Yeah. Yep. Dev is spending too much time with Arch, correct? <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of that, I didn't show you the orangutan thing. We got, I got to show Wait, you, you it. you said you were going to show me after the stream. No, no, it's it's stream worthy. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sure I'm going to regret. This is going to be like the shaved bear where it looks like a werewolf. Wait, nope. What? I think I've heard about this, actually, now that I see you typing out the word prostitute. Okay. <clears throat> Let's check it out, guys. The horrifying tale of a prostitute orangutan who was chained to a bed, shaved daily, and forced to perform sex acts on men. I've definitely heard of this. Yeah, so basically, it was a place where, like, there was, like, men in the middle of fucking nowhere doing some sort of job. Mm -hmm. And, they had and like, they, they, like, they, they flew men in and out to do work and then nothing for the, for the men to do. It's like, well, we can start a brothel. And, like, we don't have any women out here. What do we do? They just got a fucking orangutan and shaved it and put makeup on it and then like trained it to like twerk on dicks. <laughs> it's like, the most, like holy shit. Okay. Chained to a wall and laying on a dirty mattress with a full face of makeup, Pony the orangutan waited for her next client. Jesus. It's fucking like it's I'm laughing because it's so ridiculous, but it is pretty sad. Yeah. To be honest. Men working in the nearby palm oil oil farm in Borneo would come to the brothel and could pay a couple of quid to have sex with a prostitute. Or horrifyingly, with her. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Pony was chained up and used as a sex slave for six years. And now she's she's in like a, a nature reserve or something. Good. Knowing what was expected, Pony would gyrate her hips when a punter came to the door before being raped by men twice the size of her who paid her owner for the experience. Stolen from her mum as a baby, the gentle ape's entire body was shaved every other day, leaving her skin irritated, covered in sores, and prone to mosquito bites. And she was taught how to perform sex acts. It was the... What the fuck, dude? This is why we will never have the Starfleet future. You mean the, you mean the Star Trek future? You think so? No. 
because of the fact that people will shave an orangutan and have sex with it. Yep. That this is why. This is why it won't happen, guys. Humans are gross. <laughs> yep. <sighs> okay. Anyway, she has since been moved to the Bor Bor Borneo Orangutan Survival Foundation. Lives at one of their rehab centers. Okay. Can you imagine trying to be like the the like caretaker of that and like have probably have the orangutan just try and have sex with you if you're a male, mm -hmm. you know, and be like be like please stop. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> like every day. <laughs> or or imagine being one of the women who work at the brothel and the guy's like, oh, I take the anger tank. Fuck you. Oh, God. Yeah. I, I Honestly, if I was in that situation, I would be like, thank fucking God. You miss, mi missed the red flag there. <laughs> missed the bullet. <laughs> yep. Let's see. It's taken over a decade for Pony to recover from the unimaginable cruelty she suffered at the brothel village, a destination popular with local farm workers. Chained to a bed, men could choose to pay to have sex with her, and she was regularly shaved and made to wear perfume and jewelry. Mm -hmm. That's It's fucking ridiculous. My God. Jesus Christ. So, yeah. Arch had never even heard of this before, so I had to show him yesterday. You know what? I think the only reason I know about this is that you've shown me, like, several years ago. I think I did, yeah. Yeah. And I thankfully forgot, and now you've reminded me again, and now I'm just sad. <laughs> <laughs> just sad and horrified at the state of the world. <laughs> uh, yep. Also, my favorite part of this article, because now that I'm reading it, I remember it was, with the local community extremely reluctant to let Pony go. And I was just like, Jesus. Yeah, because for some reason, she was a good source of income. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's wild, dude. But okay. What's this one? Right. Okay. A 91-year-old woman filled out a crossword. That turned out to be a hundred and sixteen thousand dollar artwork in a German museum. What? Yep. A ninety-one year old woman reportedly used a ballpoint pen pen to fill in the blank spaces on a sixteen on a hundred and sixteen thousand dollar crossword artwork on display in a German museum. The work by avant-garde Danish artist Arthur Ko Koepke was on loan to the Nuez Museum in Nuremberg from a private collector. The woman who was visiting the museum with a group of seniors, reportedly told police she was following instructions on a side that next to the artwork, which read, insert words. So she just... I guess I just fucking write. <laughs> Giga Gretchen. <laughs> Giga Gretchen. Is that the new, like, old lady one? Yes. <laughs> okay. The lady told us she had taken the notes as an invitation to complete the crossword, a police, spokes a police spokesman told the Telegraph. Museum director Ava Cross said she believed the damage could be easily repaired. We do realize the old lady didn't mean any harm. The museum had to make a criminal complaint for insurance reasons. Yeah. <clears throat> we let the lady know that the collector took the damage to the work in good humor, so she doesn't have a sleepless night. <laughs> so, the reading work piece is one of a series of artworks completed by Koepke in the mid-1960s. Wow, you didn't yeah. even try, Dev. Nope. <laughs> His works include picture puzzles, crosswords, and perception psychology tests painted in oil on canvas and featuring cuttings from newspapers and magazines. With his reading and training pieces, the artist wished to increase the spectator's awareness of systems, actions, and rituals he persisted and carry out every day without reflecting on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Artist bullshit. But, okay. like, Wait, so but, it was just a crossword piece, right? He made a crossword, but, but he, he made it on, like, canvas. It was supposed to be, like, an art piece. Yeah, and, but it's just a crossword puzzle. And some old lady just like, I'm just going to fill it in. No, yes, I understand, <laughs> but, the, but like, there, so it was just a crossword puzzle on canvas. Yep, I think so. That's stupid. That's not art. <laughs> this wasn't the first time an artwork has been damaged by hapless viewers. In June, a young Chinese boy accidentally knocked over a $20,000 Lego sculpture. Yep. Which had taken three days and nights to put together, just an hour after it was put on display. Yep. Oh my God. That's fucking brutal, dude. Like, look at this. Yep, Dude. The sculpture depicted Nick Wilde, a character from Disney's Zootopia. Yep. Not anymore, it doesn't. Not a, it pictures his corpse. Yep. <laughs> Late last year, an artwork in an Italian museum resembling the aftermath of a large party was binned after cleaners mistook it for actual rubbish. <laughs> like, here's the party. 
that's actually really funny and i can actually see those like see like that as being like an actual like legitimate art piece yeah but that's really funny like <laughs> this is the art piece a bunch of, like the like, part like the aftermath of the party mm -hmm. and janitors are like all right we gotta clean this up boys let's go <laughs> you start sweeping it up <laughs> Also, in 2015, a 12-year-old punched a hole in a $2 million Italian oil painting after he tripped and fell into the piece. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Doubts were later raised about the painting's authenticity. <laughs> in 2012, an, an elderly parishioner made international headlines when she attempted to restore a fresco of Jesus Christ in a Spanish church. Oh, I read about that one. Scroll yeah. down, scroll down. Yeah. I think they showed the picture. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> they made it into a fucking monkey. <laughs> God, it's so ridiculous. Yep. I think I, I'm actually pretty sure that the reason that there's lots of like to my knowledge I might be super duper wrong about this don't at me I'm gonna <laughs> at you right now is is uh that a large portion of the point of the Lego sculptures is that you don't have to use glue to keep them together and still have the sculpture be the way it is I'm I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. like it's yep. the point the, it's the point of all, showing like, off yeah yeah the point yeah. is showing off what Legos can do not to not to glue them i might be totally wrong i'm pretty i I swear to god i read that somewhere but i don't know <laughs> imagine being the artist whose art is literally indistinguishable from garbage <laughs> thanks very much oversized trash panda thank you for the super chats today guys you are the best you guys have been great what's next you sent me this one this, i did this is local <laughs> news this is local news guys yep. No pen for subbery man who sexually abused a girl who's 11. Yep. The plea deal was struck because the victim was too frail to testify. Yep. All right. So let's see. A subbery man who sexually abused an 11-year-old girl won't be going to the penitentiary, in part because the victim would have found it too difficult to testify. Instead, Chase Noble will serve a conditional sentence of two years, less than a day that consists of house arrest and a curfew. If convicted at trial, Noble, 25 years old, could be looking at a prison term of three to five years, which is like it should be way longer. Yep. Listen, if they're, they're not exposed, even if they're not even in high school, it should be just fucking prison for life. Like honestly. Yeah. Um, earlier this month, a Sudbury judge imposed a three-year sentence on Jesse Hammer, even though he thought the sentence could have been longer. Like Noble, Hammer used Snapchat to lure an 11-year-old girl to his apartment two years ago where they had or oral and manual, manual sex. I don't know what that means. This is, this is, this is normal sex? I assume. I didn't totally read. Full, I skimmed this would, article, would it, would it, though. Wouldn't it, would it be vaginal? What, manual? I don't know. I don't know. Like, as opposed to automatic? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Okay. I, I think that was just a bad word choice by Maybe. the person writing this. <laughs> Maybe so. Okay. Mr. Noble, these are very serious offenses you face, said Justice Dan Cornell in his decision. The facts are quite aggravating, given your age and the age of the victim. This is a very fragile victim, and a trial is very difficult to pro process to endure. This is, by, this is very far from a sure guilty verdict. By pleading guilty, you have, to some extent, taken responsibility for it and avoided a trial, having the young person testify. Although, in this evidentiary case, a penitentiary sentence would have been appropriate, given the facts put forward by the defense lawyer, Mr. Michael Venturi, and the Crown. I am satisfied this is an appropriate disposition. So basically, I think yeah, he pleaded guilty, mm -hmm. specifically to avoid having the girl testify. Mm -hmm. So it would have traumatized her, and it, and and because he was he was willing to do that, he didn't get jail time. I don't fucking care. <laughs> that that was the deal. Hundred to ten percent. If you were you you were just like yeah, I fucked an eleven year old. It's like okay, prison for life, no parole. Thanks. <laughs> and if he so happens to die randomly in a cell in the middle <laughs> yeah. of the night, the world will be better for it. <laughs> he pleaded guilty on Wednesday to touching for a sexual purpose a person under 16 years the part of his body. Okay. And the Superior Court of Justice, his plea averted a one-week trial. Justice Cornell also imposed a two-year probation order, a 20-year listing on the National Sex Offenders Registry, a DNA order, a 10-year weapons ban, and a 10-year community supervision order. The victim's fragility played a big part in producing the unusual resolution. I, that doesn't, she's fucking 11. That's, they basically he said... said they, he was guilty. <laughs> they, here's the thing. The, the prosecution said, listen, if we go to trial to try to prove this, if you, if you say that you're not, if you won't say that you're guilty, we have to go to trial. Mm -hmm. And so to prove this, we have to bring her on the stand. Mm -hmm. And she, she's going to be traumatized. And we don't want to do that. She's already traumatized. She got raped. She, she's going to be more traumatized. <laughs> she's already 
already so, traumatized. <laughs> so what will it take for you to just plead guilty and avoid the trial? And you said, no jail time. And they said, okay. No! That was the deal they cut. No! I don't, That's was, fucked uh, up! Uh, I don't agree with it either. I don't, I don't agree with it either. But that is what happened here. Yeah. That's fucked up. All right. Yeah. The, the, defense, the, the defense attorney, Venturi, and the former Subbury Crown attorney, Rob Parsons, had negotiated the case of settlement. It's a very extraordinary case, Rivard said. The victim in this matter is very frail. The Crown has significant concerns for her health and well-being had this gone to trial. Mr. Noble taking full responsibility for his actions without requiring the victim to testify is the best outcome. While the conditional sentence is extremely lenient, Mr. Noble will see the consequences of his actions for at least two decades. Not enough! Yep. Rest of his life! Also, someone in the chat asked, what would you do then with the baby fuckers then, Naomi? Like, the people who are actually fucking babies? Uh, immediate, uh... Execution. Gun to the head. Wow. No, I'm serious. Yeah. If, they, if they're found guilty, death in the courtroom. Death in the courtroom? Yeah, no, I'm serious. It, it, dude, in the courtroom. Listen. Yeah. You're, you're going to make a mess of the courtroom. Bring them outside at least. Nah. You just have a special... You just put down some tarps. <laughs> One big tarp. Just go outside. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Because then it's harder to clean the blood. Then you'll just have a bloody walkway. Listen, the conditional sentence will consist of nine months of house arrest and then a curfew. Conditions include... Noble has to remain in Ontario. He has no contact with the victim, no contact with minors except with adult supervision, and taking treatment as directed in particular for sexual relapse prevention. So are they chemically castrating him? He also must make a $3,000 donation to the Subway Food Bank. Why? To the food? What? What? Yeah. He's paying back the community, I guess. The 10-year community supervision order includes conditions as he cannot attend public places such as playgrounds, parks, and schools where children are. You can't have a job being a position of authority involving minors. You have no contact with minors as adult supervision and having no internet access except for employment or with adult supervision. You can't fucking monitor these properly. This is stupid. He should just be dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's listen, you and me have always differed on mm. on the death penalty. This this is why mm. I am pro death penalty. This is why. <laughs> Let's see. He was 23, talked to an 11-year-old girl on Snapchat. She accepted. They talked for three weeks. He offered to pick her up at her home. She agreed. She snuck out as her parents were sleeping. He picked her up, drove around for an hour. He then parked in the parking lot of elementary school. They kissed, performed oral sex on each other, and then had intercourse in the backseat. Uh, uh, that's fucked up. Oh, so Noble never finished high school, and he has un undiagnosed anxiety or ADHD. That doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> I probably have ADHD, and I've never fucked an 11-year-old as, as I've been 20. Mm -hmm. God. Yep, this is fucking wild, dude. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked it's up. pretty fucked up. And I hate our justice system. And this is local news. That makes me yep, hate it this more. Happen this happened in this city, dude. Yeah. where we live. Yep. Yep. Fucking hell. <sighs> okay, what's next? Oh, yeah. Local First Nations unveil a taller, denser vision for the Jericho lands development. This is actually kind of funny. I want to show you why. Okay? So. Wait. What? I know you're talking, but can you scroll down to the picture while you're doing it? Are those... No, they're... Well, they kind of look like it. Those kind of look like those eco buildings. Yeah, with, like, with trees growing on them. Yeah. yeah. At least some of them are. Okay, so. This is kind of important. Like, it's very simple, right? Like... Mm -hmm. Three local First Nations have expanded their plans to the Jericho lands. The new vision unveiled Friday that is less like a typical real estate development and more like an entirely new urban neighborhood. Yep, and these are the these are the uh, these are like the different people I think. Quickly known as the MSD Partnership and the Canada Lands Company envisions thirteen thousand thirteen thousand homes to the property. It's about a third of a square kilometer. That would more than double the population of the surrounding West Point Gray neighborhood, land that is some of Vancouver's least dense and Canada's most expensive. It would include more homes than that, than currently exist in most of Vancouver's 22 neighborhoods. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Can I show the original? Yeah, you know what I'll do? Here's why this is actually a really interesting story. Can I just search this? Uh, Jericho Lands, Vancouver, Google Maps. Oh. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so this is the west end of Vancouver, okay? For those of you who don't know, it's very dense. 
in one of the most expensive cities in the world. One of the honestly one of the most um, sought after and frankly like high, highest quality cities in the world is Vancouver. People like living here, right? Canadians, most Canadians are like, dude, why don't you just go to Vancouver? It's fucking amazing. Because um, it's expensive. Because it's, re it's really expensive. <laughs> it's now. really fucking but expensive. Here, but here's the thing: being you know a very left leaning city, there's all these parks and like. There's always single unit houses. Okay, and... I love you, but you say parks like it's a bad thing. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying it's a bad thing. <laughs> no, no, I know, but the way you said that made it Listen, sound like a bad thing. <laughs> what I'm saying is that like like leftists don't really understand like large scale planning at all. Mm -hmm. They're like, we should housing should just be free, but also we should have lots of parks, and also we shouldn't build anymore. And it's like, and also why are there homeless people? Like you, you can't have all these things. Honestly, they're all they're yeah. all in conflict. A apartment buildings are the answer to that question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's an X raid. Hello. Did we get raided? Thank you. Hello. Thanks for the raid. Also, you missed a twenty-five dollar sub. <gasps> Did I? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Fargo style wood chipper from Brian. Thanks for the two dollars and thanks for the X raid Xers. And also, yeah, Mystic of the something for twenty-five rons. You guys are gold for streaming. I haven't woken up to something this nice in a long time. Well, thanks very much, dude. Thank well, you. you're welcome. I'm glad you enjoy us yell screaming at each other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Vancouver's like fuck. Vancouver's fucked. Unless, unless you have to make like a lot of money, you should get the fuck out of Vancouver. Um, which sucks because I had a bunch of friends move to Vancouver, and now they're all like, some of them left, mm -hmm. some of them are still there. They're like, we can't, we can't afford to even afford to move. We can't even afford to leave. Like we can't. <laughs> we're 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 living so hand to mouth, so paycheck to paycheck. We can't even set aside the extra like thousand dollars to move out to another place. Are these the ones with children? Uh, no, they're they left Vancouver already. Ah, okay. Uh, but no, like here. So basically, this this west area is pretty dense. But there's all these parks, right? Yep. And people are like, "Oh my god, dude, we can't, we can't, you know, build more houses because it's capitalism. We want to keep the parks, but also mm -hmm. things are expensive. So, but, you're, but they're also like they're very. Come on, just stay, stay there, stay there. Okay, so basically, <laughs> they're also very like you know, you know, land back. Oh, we're sorry, we colonized you natives. Oh my god, this is all native land. All white people are guilty. Uh. So they got like lo like local native tribes that were in the area mm -hmm. and they said listen we're going to land back you the jericho beach park this is now your land mm -hmm. all right we we are white people are stepping away Does that include the jericho hill grounds or just the beach park i'm not sure i assume it's all of it but we're just like listen you know oh we're so guilty we, you, it's it's all yours we're, we're we're gonna decolonize this is this is praxis you land back all right and so they gave this up to these tribes yep and the expectation of like privileged white Vancouver leftists was that they were, like the natives were gonna like go and return to nature and like live in their teepees in the park and like that's you know, racist. Just, just you know, it's like you know, you know how it is. But the natives, you know, being humans, yep, who aren't, you know what I mean, who like, live you know, in the modern era. Yes, <laughs> like no, we're just gonna develop it. Yeah, man. So they're now building more. Apart More that, housing. That's like a shit ton of apartment complexes yeah. too. Because here's the thing: because it's native land now, mm -hmm. it's not subject to like local zoning. Yep. So they're like, we're just gonna build a shit ton of apartments mm -hmm. and make a shit ton of money, mm -hmm. and everything's gonna be great. Yep. And now all the all the all the white see here it is right here's their here's their plans because this is the oh and they're still keeping like a large place. they're yep. just doing it like near the rest of the buildings and they're yep. just gonna leave like you yeah, know that actually yeah. looks really nice yeah. especially if they actually do those eco buildings and keep them yeah. up like really well like, yeah. so, like these are all like single those are all single homes or and, and like, or townhouses here's a ton of these like that's what we're gonna build yep and we're just gonna like just rent them out to people and make money and yep. like everyone's gonna be, and and all the white all the white leftists who gave them to them they're like Oh my god, you can't do this to us. You can't do this. Like, they're losing their fucking minds now. Why don't they want more apartment buildings? I thought that socialist community housing, apartment buildings. Because um, <laughs> this, they're, they're like degrowth socialists, where they want everything to return back to like pre-industrial. Like, oh. like the only way we can solve all these problems by d to destroy capitalism is also to like return to like ancient ways of living. There's too many people in the world to do that. You yeah. have to like cause mass genocide. Well, they're okay with that. Yeah. So, so, so the natives were like, "Great, land back. We're gonna like develop it." And they're just like, "No!" <laughs> so now it's become like a big thing. So yeah, like all this is turning into like a big fucking yep. complex. It's gonna have more housing in that little bit than the entirety of like downtown Vancouver. Yep. Because like downtown Vancouver is like, God damn it, stay stay zoomed in. West Vancouver, East Vancouver. I think that I think this is the border here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this is the downtown area. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think it includes North Vancouver though. Mm -hmm. I'm always surprised. Like whenever you think of downtowns, I always just think of like giant, like buildings that have shit tons of business, a whole bunch of different businesses on each 
mm -hmm. each floor and like a whole bunch of different apartment well, buildings. That's here. That is on, this is like the actual downtown core. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, it's called Yale Town, right? Mm -hmm. And if, if you were to like Google Maps here, mm -hmm. can I even turn on the... Oh. Yeah, like there's tons of sky rises here. Mm -hmm. Like, this is all, like, little houses. This is all little houses. Mm -hmm. This is all little houses. Commercial Drive is literally the commercial sector of the city. Mm -hmm. This is, like, the train center, mm -hmm. train area. And this is, like, every giant skyscraper is, like, all packed in right here mm -hmm. on uh, on this island. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and, and also... the Spirit Bear Island? Is it that? No. Spirit Bear Island? Yeah, it's that island that's in Vancouver that's, like, actually tropical. Oh, fuck. I mean, Stanley Park has some of that. Yeah, Even because like, that's that's where I told you those spirit bears live. Remember those white oh no, black oh, bears? That's actually like outside of the city. Is it really? Yeah. Well, no, I didn't think it was that outside of the city. I don't fucking know. This, well, let's look it up. This is just stuff I'm remembering from like ninth grade. <laughs> spirit bears. They're black white bears. Yeah, they're they're, they're not. This, this is not in the city. It's like outside of the city. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure they just live on Vancouver Island. Mm hmm. Oh, by the way, Vancouver's really close to the to the American border. Yeah. It's, like, right here. Yeah. In fact, Point Roberts is an American city. Yeah. That is completely cut off. Yeah. Like, I don't know why they, they don't just give this little piece to Canada. Like, it makes sense, right? They're like, it's a straight line. It's like, yeah, but... Well, isn't Alaska also closer to Canada than America? Yeah. That's, that's a big area, though. This is, this is, like, one tiny town. Okay. Because they, like... they don't want to. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably not, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, bring the chat back. I lost it. Oh, sorry, chat. We're going to bring you back right now. The spirit bears are cute, but not cuter than the chat. Mwah. Yeah, I'll sweet baby ink video eventually. But anyway, that's the situation, basically, guys, is uh, this area right here, all this, uh, you know, all this stuff got land backed. I think, it was, I think it's this panel here, got land backed, this parkland, and they're building a big thing, and they're like, you can't do this to us. How? Oh, my God. It's like, you guys are fucking idiots. White black bears? No, okay. So spirit bears are actually cool, and the reason that I learned about them in ninth grade was because I was in a biology class. So white black bears are actually, they are genetically black bears, and they should be black. However, there's a mutation that's not albinism that makes their fur white. And that is the only difference between them and black bears, but they are still classified scientifically as black bears. Yeah. Because they don't have albinism, they are just black bears that have white fur, and they're cool. <laughs> they're called spirit bears. So yeah, basically, can I find it? Is... Five Australian dollars. What's a? Yep. Thanks for five dollars, Tricky. Common land-backed activist L just goes to show how racist these so-called anti-racists are when the people they advocate for try to assimilate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they're so fucking terrible. I am not. That's true. I'm not super familiar with tropical, but like, I I was pretty sure it was like. More rainforest than the rest of Canada is. Yeah. <laughs> is that specific island? <laughs> so yeah, the First Nations plan to own the Jericho lands forever. Seventy percent of the homes are expected to be leasehold condos. Thirty percent of the residential space would be below market rental housing. About twenty six hundred units of social housing and thirteen hundred moderate income rental homes. So basically, like this is the like they're gonna save the fucking city at this point because <laughs> yep. they're they're gonna put on this tiny little plot of land mm -hmm. more apartments than exist in the entire fucking city. Yep. And people are losing it because they're like, no, it's too dense. There's too many people. You can't do this. No, no. Yep. I want to find the people who are complaining. Are they? Is it? Are they in here? Probably not. But yeah, they're just like you know we're not savages anymore. We're we're people. We're like we are human, we're, we're normal people. Normal human beings because we realize our culture yep. got assimilated. <laughs> yep. And he's just like, yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm a modern person, and I'm just going to like this is going to be awesome. <laughs> like, no, I think it's the same thing. Jiggle sn slinky. Hold on, I'm trying to. Can I find the objections? Here we go. Yeah. Resident group calls for more consultation on First Nation plans. Oh, they changed the headline. It used to be objects to. <laughs> yeah. To hit the reset button. <laughs> this is the battle for the soul of Vancouver. It's about the towers. It's about towers. It's not about one location. It's about towers all over the city and development all over the city. And the developers are winning. 
you should have more apartment buildings. Like, honestly, if we didn't do the show, like, if we didn't do your business out of this house, I'd be happy living in an apartment. Like, a, yeah. bigger, like a, like a bigger apartment than this. But, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be fine living in an apartment. Yeah. I don't like cities turning into megapolises, but people need housing. Yeah, this is one thing I'm thinking of. Like, I'm going to do a video on, um, I'm currently writing it, mm -hmm. on squatters' rights. Ugh. Right? But yeah. the issue is that Squatters, like, I looked into it. The laws behind squatters' rights are tied in a strange way mm -hmm. to the laws behind zoning. And generally, the group that hates squatters' rights mm -hmm. routinely, generally right-wingers, they routinely advocate for not changing the laws because that would also change the zoning laws. Mm. It, it, it's, it, it's, it's a very complicated situation right now. I'll, you'll be able to see that see in the video soon. Ah, oh, $10. Sean King, $10. Last year, my professor said we are nearing the carrying capacity of the planet, and some say we are already past that point. I replied with, so you're saying we need a good war? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. If you actually build housing, how are you supposed to grift and gain power off of homelessness and rent? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he deserves nothing. She'll, she will be happy. You're so mean to me, Galaxy. <laughs> okay, so let's continue on. Let's continue on. Enough of this nonsense. Let's go. What's the next story? German patient vaccinated against COVID 217 times. Why? Get your boosters, guys. Jeez. Get your 217 boosters. Boost them up. Boost, boost, boosty boost. Boost. How do you feel about boosting, Naomi? I don't know. About 217 times worth of boosting. That's a lot of boosts. That's a lot of boosts. Wow. A 62-year-old man from Germany has, against medical advice, been vaccinated 217 times against COVID. That's a lot. The shots were bought and given privately within the space of 29 months. Ah. The <laughs> man appears to have suffered no ill effects. Well, that's good. Good for him, at least. <laughs> yeah. So what's really, here's, here's really funny about this, right? Is Do you think that they were actual like vaccinations or it was just placebo? Just placebo. Yeah. <laughs> just clot maxing. I'm boosting. I'm going to boost. Oh! Boost. <laughs> <laughs> so you got like people who are like, you can't get the vaccine because it's going to fucking kill you, dude. It's going to, you're going to, it's going to inject the microchips and the 5G is going to turn you on, turn you into a Bill Gates zombie. Yes. And it's like, you guys are fucking retarded. Like, you guys are retarded. Like, fuck Wait, off. wouldn't it be an Elon Musk? I don't know. Either Elon way. Musk, yeah. Either way. It's fucking retarded, right? It's yeah. so stupid. But then you got guys like this on the other end of the spectrum yep. <laughs> who are like, I must boost. <laughs> Give I me the booster. Hey, I, have, hey, scroll I down have the more. strong. Hold on. This is a super chat. Thanks for the super, buddy. Didn't you read that one? Yeah, you read that oh, one. Oh, we already. did. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, he's boost maxing. Boost maxing. Let's see. Let's see. We learned about his case via newspaper articles. We then contacted him and invited him to undergo various tests. He was very interested in doing so. The man provided fresh blood and saliva samples. The researcher also tested some frozen blood samples of his that had been stored in recent years. We were able to take blood samples ourselves, and the man received a further vaccination during the study at his own insistence. We were able to use these samples to determine exactly how the immune system reacts to the vaccination. Evidence for at least 130 of the jabs was collected by the public prosecutor of the city of Magdeburg who opened an investigation with the allegation of fraud, but no criminal charges were brought. COVID vaccines can't cause infection, but can teach the body how to fight the disease. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is how the mRNA well, isn't vaccine works. the point works. of yeah. vaccines? <laughs> no, earliest, the earlier vaccines did cause like a mild infection. Oh, yeah. lovely. But that, that was like, like over 100 years ago. Oh. Um, importantly, we do not, as the researchers said, importantly, we do not endorse hyper-vaccination as a strategy to, <laughs> to enhance adaptive immunity. <laughs> And the results of their tests on the 62-year-old were insufficient for making far-reaching conclusions, let alone recommendations for the general public. Current research indicates that a three-dose vaccination coupled with regular top-up vaccines for vulnerable groups remains a favored approach. There is no indication that more vaccines are required. I, I need 200 boosts. <laughs> boost me! Oh, that's Boo. fucking... Boost! I'm about to boost! I'm about to boost! <laughs> Dude, it's so ridiculous. Like, this is funny, man. Oh, man. Yep. <laughs> Wait, COVID, COVID jabs. COVID. Oh, what, what is this? COVID jabs get by 44%. Entire UK city finds. Oh, basically 44%. Oh, wait, hold on. More than 7,000. Shut up. More than 7,000 COVID related hospital admissions could have been prevented in the UK in the summer of 2022 if the population had received the full number of jabs recommended. Okay. 
44% of the UK population is under-vaccinated. Oh, I see. I mean, to be honest, like, here, here's the thing. I know there's lots of people in the chat who are like, I don't trust him. They're going to fucking melt my brain with the vaccine. It's like, okay, whatever. I don't care. You fucking idiots. But for me, I, like, I, don't, I, don't even, I don't think the vaccine's unsafe. I'm mm -hmm. just lazy. Yeah. That's it. That's all it was. It was just laziness for me. It was just like, everyone must get vaccinated or else you must stay inside. I was like, I already stay inside. I'm a YouTuber. I'll just, I'll, and I, I, my plan was basically, I'll just stay inside till this is done. And then I did it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it worked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't really have much of an excuse, but it, like at first it was just like, okay, well, you have to go wait in line for like hours. Mm. To, and I was just like, I don't want to fucking waste my time. I'm already so fucking tired from dealing with the general public because I have to work in a goddamn store amongst COVID. And I already knew that all this shit was going to happen. Well, also, well, I, think uh, I, just, I, I think I just got like doomer pilled about it. Yeah. And I didn't care. <laughs> Additionally, um, Additionally, Canada had a vaccine shortage that America didn't that have. That too, yeah. America had, like, crazy amounts of vaccines yeah. rolling out. Like, like, a billion doses they rolled out. Mm -hmm. Canada, like, for like, the first six months of the vaccine being around, Canada was, like, was short on vaccines. Yeah. We were like, like dude, we're, like, we don't have enough. Yeah. Dude, yeah, okay, most people don't recognize, don't, don't remember this now, mm -hmm. but a long time, the government was, like, saying all day and night, if you're young, don't get the vaccine. Yeah. Don't get the vaccine. So I did o Only old people. Only old people. Yeah, and so then, I like, did. people don't pay attention because yeah. they, they have their own lives. Yeah. So that line stuck long after mm -hmm. the government started saying, okay, you can get it now, guys. But everyone yeah. was, like, just doing their own thing at that point, yeah. you know? Well, because it was a really long time for, like, that we had that shortage for. Like, it was, yeah. it was a good number of months by, like, because, like, at least for our city, like, we got, like, the announcement in, like, March of whatever the fuck. 2020? Mm -hmm. Yep. It was a long fucking time ago at this point. Mm -hmm. But, like, it was, like, March 2020, and then, like, the whole city was just like, oh, shit! But we, like, there was a there was a vaccine shortage when they first came out yep. for many, many months. That was, like, summer 2021? Yep. I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Yeah, summer 2021. Yep. And yeah, also there's there's definitely people who like they're fine with the vaccine. Mm -hmm. They're just being defiant because they were told to get it. And yeah, it's that's like, also I, dumb. You know, no, I kind of I kind of understand that. Mm. It's like you must get it, or else you get fired. And it's like, well, fuck you. Like, yeah. Fuck off, well, like, dude. When they first came out, I think my main worry was that like they would have rushed it out and not tested everything properly. Yeah. You know, because like. Well, by, well, by well, well, there's like the big don't trust big pharma. There is also the small don't trust fucking shady ass corporations. Well, you know, here's the thing. Like that was a reasonable argument in summer of 2020. No, no. Yeah, of course. I'm not saying it is now. The, the test concluded by summer of 2022. Yeah. And it was at that point that I was like, okay, it's probably safe, guys. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like that's enough. No. Like, but calm yeah, down. that was the only thing I was worried about when they first came out. I was just yeah. like, it's going to be like those vitamins they gave pregnant women that mutated their babies. Oh, in, in Brazil. <laughs> yeah. And then like the seventies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sean King, $5. Have you ever noticed that all the young people that have had heart problems who the right tries to link to the vax are also athletes? Yes, I have. <laughs> yeah. No, zero fucks the text the test did, did conclude. Honestly, okay, you know what's ridiculous? It's now been four years. Mm -hmm. And like another four years is gonna be like, it's still unsafe. The tests haven't finished. Like, what the fuck? Like, dude, you don't test a vaccine for ten fucking years. Mm -hmm. You generally test it for like a, a year. year or two. Yeah. yeah. Like we're good now. You have to wear your life jacket because mine won't work unless you do. I mean, no. I Here. mean, masks are ma masks aren't dumb in themselves, but like the wrong message that everyone got was oh God. dumb. Do you remember the, the the don't buy masks at the start? Oh uh, yeah, I do. Like, There's I... a mask shortage. Don't buy masks. Leave them for the the, the people at the hospital. Yep, yep. But... It, it was it was like things actually reversed. Well, you no, know, right? there, there was also the time where it's just like if you buy a mask, you're racist. Yep. Yeah, yep. that happened yep. first. Th th there was an invert, right? Where, like, yep. left-wingers <laughs> were like, if you're worried about COVID, you're a racist. Yep. You just hate Asian people. Yep. And then right-wingers were like, oh, my God, guys, like a fucking plague is here. We're going to fucking die. Get mm -hmm. get all the masks, prep everything, buy all the food. You're like, get ready. And then, like, in three months, everything reversed. Yep. Where the left started viewing it as, like, the end of civilization. And the yep. right was like, it's fine, guys. Don't yep. worry about it. Yep. Like, the, dude... The amount of COVID stuff that has been memory hold on both sides mm -hmm. over the, over the years is kind of wild to me. Don't don't worry, rightoids in the chat. You guys have all oh, like fifty people left when I said that. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> don't worry, rightoids in the chat. You guys have also done some dumb shit with COVID. You can't even fucking deny. Everyone did dumb shit during COVID. That's oh, yeah. just the way of the world. The world went to shit a little bit, and everyone just was dumb. Yep. Everyone, every single person, yep. <laughs> including mm -hmm. myself, including you. Everyone. Was I dumb. wasn't dumb. I was fine. 
I just stayed at home. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the times you went out. Yeah, so. Except for the time where we both might have had COVID and you were just like telling out the fucking world, I got COVID! Based! <laughs> It's not base, it's dumb. <laughs> the BLM protest offered the greatest protection. Okay, that was ridiculous, all right? That, yeah, I oh my remember God. that. That was so bad. Dude, <laughs> people were like, you must stay inside. You can't go to work. You can't go to your friends. You can't see your family. You can't go to the hospital. You can't go anywhere. You can't go, you can't visit your grandma on the you can't. You can't do anything, but you can go protest at BLM. Like, yes. oh my God, holy fuck. Yep. Like, that was so stupid, dude. Yep. That was so stupid. Yeah. My God. Well, I mean, like, when COVID started, it was, like, a brutal fucking flu. Like, I'm not... Remember that one, the no, very no, first COVID, yeah. time yeah. I got sick? Like, we like we didn't have anything to test with because I was actually too sick to go anywhere. Yeah. But, like, I am 90% sure that that was COVID. And, that was like, definitely COVID. There, there yeah. was some... There, there was a couple of nights, like, when I first got it where I was just, like, if I feel any fucking worse, I'm going to have to go to the hospital. Like, it was, yeah. it was legitimately kind of scary. And I understand why so many people... Like, especially, like, any... Like, how... Four years ago, I was in my mid twenties, more of the prime of my life. <laughs> You're still in the prime of your life. No, I'm not. I'm old now. You're 27, right? Well, I don't yeah. fucking know. You're 27. Nah, I'm just 80. <laughs> but like, I understood why like anyone above the age of 50 was getting like fucked. Yeah. By COVID, like if they got it, because like that that was scary for me, right? Mm -hmm. That was and that was just an oof. Yeah, but like a really bad flu like covid was nothing to actually sneeze at it was by the end after all the fucking mutations and stuff but like when it first came out yeah it was yeah. a little scary not enough to shut down the world of course that was too far but like i understood like the panic that everyone had about it when i finally yeah, got it yeah same here because that, that one day like i was lying in bed and i felt like the pressure in my head like pushing my nose and like the bones and on my face outward and i was like this is actually like a, this is this is worse than a cold for sure. Like this is fucking like it was brutal. I'm not no no. Listen, I understand. I was I'm overweight, but like I was less overweight. But like I oh felt God, it. Ian. I felt it in my lungs. Like yeah. I don't generally have too many bad breathing problems. But like that was mm -hmm. that was an oof. And also, most people in the West are far more overweight than I am, especially if they're fifty plus. So. Yeah. <laughs> also, thanks for the five dollars, Ian. But I'm not reading that out. Jesus Christ. Okay, listen, listen real quick. Okay. There are still people now who are like, I must mask up every time I go out. If I if I have COVID, I'm going to like break down and cry on social media. I'm going to blame everyone. I can't believe we're not taking this seriously. We're still in the pandemic. It's like, mm -hmm. calm the fuck down, dude. Like, mm -hmm. what the fuck? Yeah. That's because you guys are fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And also, to be yeah. fair, I didn't have the strongest, I just, well, I didn't have the strongest immune system. I still don't. But like, mm -hmm. you know. Anyway, if you guys are all just saying it was nothing more than, like, just a slightly bad flu, you are, in fact, wrong. Because usually I don't get that sick. For some people it was, just like I But, but like, for some yeah. people it was, yeah, because they got stronger yeah. immune systems than average. Yeah. Secretly. You don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Lives in Dev's Walls, $5. Thank you. There's still a reasonable space to be skeptical about long-term effects. mRNA is completely novel tech. Yep. As well as downsides weren't seen for decades. That's also yep, true. Yep. There could be something that comes out of nowhere, but I'm honestly not, uh, I'm not... Ping, pinning any any uh, any hopes on that or anything. Not hopes. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't mm -hmm. think it's going to happen. Let's keep going, dudes. What's yep. the next article? Because we could talk about COVID for hours, yeah. but let's not do that. <laughs> Man who uploaded a child sex abuse video to Facebook gets a suspended sentence. What? No. Why is there another one? <laughs> There's another one. A Dublin man who uploaded an extremely explicit child sex abuse video to his own Facebook page has been given a 12-month 12 mo 12 suspended sentence. Is it Oin Ewain Prizman, 35, pleaded guilty to possessing child pornography at his home in Killinarden, Telehaas, in August of 2022? You put like an A. Detective Garda Ronan O'Reilly... <laughs> <laughs> said in a sentence hearing earlier this month that Gardai carried out a search of Prizman's home after they were contacted by Facebook concerning an account user who had uploaded a video. Brian Storan BL, representing the state, said the video was explicit in the extreme and depicted the anal rape by an adult male of a child aged 9 or 10 years old. Okay, I'm going to go pee. Because I don't want to hear about this anymore. <laughs> the court uh, heard that Gardai sees a number of electronic devices at the house that Prizman shares with his parents and brother, but only one device, a Samsung mobile phone, contained child abuse material. 
Prizing was present during the search and told Gardai that the phone belonged to him and that it contained child sexual abuse imagery. Nope. Can't hear. <laughs> the phone was sent for analysis to the Garda National Cybercrime Bureau, and investigators found 276 videos of child abuse material on it. A sample of 10 videos were downloaded, of which 9 fitted into the most explicit categorization of child abuse material, Category 1. The videos ranged in length from a few seconds to half an hour, and the youngest victim depicted was a baby boy of 6 to 12 months old. Jesus Christ, dude. The court heard that in this video the baby boy was shown clearly distressed, tied to a makeshift bed with his arms and legs bound. Oh. Fifty dollars from Hylian Juggalo. For every bad experience, you need two times the good experiences to rebuild trust. Many not many never got any good experiences over the past four years, so trust never rebuild. It has nothing to do with does it work, but everything to do with the way society acted. I remember. No, I understand. It's something that, that we must work on. I agree with you, dude. Okay, so. The youngest victim depicted no. was a baby boy of 6 to 12 months. No! Why did I walk back in on that? In the court heard that in this video, the baby boy was shown clearly distressed, tied to a makeshift bed with his arms and legs bound. Okay. Can we just not? Can we just not? I say we're done. Nope. Hold on. Nope. 90% ah. of the representative videos that were analyzed were in the most serious category, with some of them involving the sexual abuse of infants and babies. The sentencing judge, or LaCroix, said that it was self-evidently a very serious crime, but accepted that Prizman had pleaded guilty and expressed remorse. She said the case justified a headline sentence of 18 months. Just kill them! Execute them! With a gun to the head! Judge Crow imposed a sentence of 12 months, having taken into account mitigating factors, including Prizman's lack of previous convictions. She suspended the 12-month term for three years on strict conditions, including that he keep the peace and be of good behavior and engage at the probation service. <gasps> so he got no jail time. He's on probation. That's okay. Fuck. Honestly, how about we kill the judges, too, who... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> execute the judges who make these fucking light-ass sentences and then also execute the fucking... Oh, my God, Naomi. You're gonna get me fucking banned off YouTube, you fuck. <laughs> Pedophile rapists. <laughs> fuck. So, they had no evidence that he actually made any of the videos himself. He only had them. Um, the council said that he was out of work during the pandemic. He increased his use of alcohol and cocaine. I also increase my use of alcohol when I'm not at work, but I don't watch child porn. <laughs> the court heard that Prizman said he was disgusted when someone he knew sent him the videos that he didn't delete them as he wanted to maintain contact with the person. His client wished to reiterate the disgust, sorrow, and remorse at getting embroiled in these offenses. He had been working at a manufacturing company before the pandemic. He continues to work there. Okay. Oh, hell, warlord knew me. Yes. <laughs> oh. God, holy fucking shit. Stop putting these articles in the sip. Stop it. I only gave you the one because it was local news. <laughs> Shall we continue on? Or you want to talk about it a bit? No. Let's not. Say we did. <laughs> okay. Under the jail. Under the jail. Okay. Thanks for the donations today, guys. You guys are great. Weightlifter eats 39 coins and 37 magnets because he thought that zinc helps bodybuilding. <laughs> there is literally fucking zinc vitamins you can take. What the Obviously, you weren't bodybuilding your fucking brain. Jesus. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> Cat head hawk for five dollars. Judge Naomi. I am the law. I am the law. <laughs> so I can't wait for the, for, for the first Giga Chat to, to appear in the chat over this guy. Where is it? Dev didn't even play the rape review intro. <laughs> I can play it. How about you don't? <laughs> based, based. Eat Giga Chad. Magnet maxing based Giga Chad. <laughs> Come on, 
Giga Chad, Giga Chad, <laughs> Giga Chad. <laughs> okay. Eat 39 coins and 37 megas because zinc helps in bodybuilding. Sounds pretty good. Sounds like a good idea. Doctors, he, wait, he was a magnetic man of steel. Doctors at a new Delhi hospital removed 39 coins and 37 magnets from a man's intestine after he swallowed the metals under the assumption that zinc helps in bodybuilding. X-rays taken before the surgery inside the Sir Gangaram Hospital show massive metal clots forming in the 26-year-old's intestines after he spent several weeks ingesting the coins while undergoing the treatment for an undiagnosed psychiatric condition. <laughs> the patient, who was not publicly named, believed that he could absorb zinc from the 39 coins he ate. And he thought that eating magnets would aid in the process. So here they are. Look at the coins, dude. Oh my god, and like the magnets are holding them together so you can't even put them out. Yeah, that's why eating oh my magnets god. Look. is stupid. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Everyone's dumb. Oh, is this all the stuff? Scroll down. Hey, look, there's star magnets, and there's a heart magnet, too. Look how pretty they are. These are all the magnets that he ate, and these are all the coins that he ate. Jesus. <laughs> He's a schizo, Shad. Why couldn't he shit them out? Because the magnets were holding him in, bro. Yep. <laughs> Doctors learned the extent of what he had done when he arrived at the emergency room with complaints of vomiting and abdominal pain that had gone on for more than 20 days. The coins and magnets had caused intestinal obstruction in his body, prompting an immediate surgical procedure to remove the metal. Do you want to, do you want to bet that his, like, psychiatric condition literally had nothing to do with him wanting to eat stuff? Probably, it was just yeah. like, oh, yes, I'm bipolar. <laughs> 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 or, or I have pretty severe depression. <laughs> Not, nothing related to wanting to eat coins. <laughs> the surgeons noticed, noted that the magnets and coins had lumped together into two separate loops in the small intestine with the magnetic force leading them to lock and cause an erosion along the intestinal wall. Ah, oh, Jesus. The doctors were able to open his intestines and remove all the coins and magnets. A large amount of the metals were also found in his stomach and promptly removed. <laughs> Do you think they just took, like, an even stronger magnet and were just like, hmm, I wonder where they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all magnets removed. Post-X-ray surgery confirms. Okay. He spent seven days in the hospital recovering. Steroids rotted his brain. <laughs> Apparently consuming such a large amount of metal can actually cause zinc toxicity. Well, there you go. He upped his zinc levels. <laughs> when zinc-containing coins are ingested, acidic fluids in the stomach can cause zinc to leach from the coins, which can lead to stomach pains, diarrhea, and vomiting. Good job, dude. Good job. A plus vitamin taking skills. <laughs> <sighs> Quite the cash deposit. Okay. Man survives a lightning strike, only to suffocate to death when villagers insist on treating his injury by covering him in cow dung. What? <laughs> what? A man who survived being struck by lightning has died after he was covered with cow dung to treat his injuries in India. <laughs> it's always India. And his cow dung is always India. Binod and Gokula Pod, who lived in the Pamara village in the Sun Sundaragar district of Odisha State, have been to the market where they were where they were hit on Sunday evening. Villagers tried to help the pair by embracing a superstition and putting a heap of animal dung on Binod's body. So how so he suffocated because they also covered his face in the dung? I guess. So basically, yeah, uh, strike, hit by lightning, get suffocated in poop. Good job. There he is. He's, he's just covered. Look, he's just covered in shit. But his head's Look not at... covered. How did he suffocate? Scroll down. Maybe he's just breathing too much poop fumes. I mean, maybe. Scroll down. Look. Wait, villagers in India try to treat Vinod Pode after he was struck by lightning by covering his body with cow dung instead of taking him to a hospital. Look at that. He's just covered. It's just completely fucking... So it's like he's buried in the sand, but he's just, like, done. Oh, if he suffocated, maybe his chest was, like... Oh, Yeah, he couldn't move, Roll yeah. Let's see if they actually say. Okay. Instead of helping the man, they suffocated him, and within several minutes, he stopped breathing. It was later reported he died of asphyxiation. Although it was too late to save Bernard, the villagers managed to take Gokula to a hospital for proper treatment. This is not the first time Indian villagers have used cow dung to try and help people who've been hit by lightning. In June of 2018... 
People from the district of Raigada, or whatever, in the state of Odisha, put dung and mud on 32-year-old Sankara Bissoy and 45, whatever. I don't freaking care what the names. Uh, the two villagers were buried for around 30 minutes where a health worker found them and called for an ambulance. Yep. Okay, those names weren't even that hard to pronounce. Um, Modan <laughs> Bissoy of whatever village said, Cow dung and mud paste therapy is an ancestral practice of healing lightning victims. Did they die afterwards? Did they get healed through the practice of death? <laughs> <laughs> and in May 2017, a young boy from Sana Litipuli village died when his relatives covered him in cow dung. His family had covered him in the manure for 40 minutes and hoped that he would recover from his injuries. The boy's two friends, who had also been struck by lightning, were taken to a hospital and survived the incident. They don't say, because in the picture his head's not covered, so I assume they just, like, buried him? Yep. Either, either they covered his head, or the fumes from the dung overpowered any oxygen in the air. Mm. He was just breathing in, like, methane fumes. Oh, or, yeah, that's probably or what it was. The, the weight, like, collapsed in on his chest, like how yeah. if you're buried in, under, in sand, yeah. you can, like, stop breathing because yeah. you, you can't expand your chest anymore? Yeah. <laughs> what a shitty way to go. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da. Literally. <laughs> yeah, dude. But you can't say anything about it because you'd be racist. Ah, uh, yes. Telling people uh, that using cow dung to treat injuries is not good is culturally insensitive. Racism! <laughs> Racism! Okay. <laughs> death by poo poo instead of death of snoo snoo. <laughs> yeah. It's racism! <laughs> I can't know. <laughs> okay. Racism. Shopper banned from Bucky's after bringing his service duck inside the store. What? He has a service duck. A man who brought his service <laughs> duck into a Bucky's store in Tennessee has been banned from the chain. Justin Wood brought his service pet, known as Wrinkle the Duck, into the store, where they shopped around and received plenty of positive attention from shoppers who wanted to pet Wrinkle and ask about her. If it was an actual service animal, you wouldn't be able to pet her. Wrinkle remained inside a stroller for most of the visit, occasionally coming out to high-five interested onlookers with her beak. Not a real service animal. Wood posted the video to his YouTube channel titled Seductive, <laughs> yeah. where he has dozens of videos of his excursions around the country with Wrinkle the Duck. The channel has 2.7 million subs. We should watch that in a minute. As they entered the store, they were approached by an employee who told him that service dogs were the only animals allowed inside the store. She's a service duck, Wood responded. <laughs> Yeah. They were allowed to continue on until a second employee told him pets aren't allowed in here. Okay, but she's a service animal, he said, adding that he could give the store three forms of ID to prove it. They were allowed to keep shopping until a third employee told him, unfortunately, your animal can't be in here. There's no pets in here. Your animal, even if it is a service animal, you have to be able to contain it and it can fly out, she added. There's him and his duck. <laughs> if it was a dog, it would have to be on a leash. Can I put her on a leash, she asked, and the employee said it would be fine. At that point, Wood put Wrinkle on an imaginary leash, and the duck continued to follow him. That's why. Because you didn't actually put him on a leash. Good fucking lord. Honestly, like, it's, it's a funny story, but, like, these people just make me feel tired. <laughs> After he made his purchase, he was informed by an employee that the police are outside. Once he left the store, he was approached by a police officer who, who told him, they're requesting you to be banned from the store adding that it was, in fact, every Bucky's location and that he would be charged with trespassing if he was caught in another one, duck or not. Sounds yep. good. The officer reminded Wood it wasn't his decision during their friendly exchange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who loves Bucky's? Wood said in the video. He didn't love us. That's okay. She doesn't make anybody happen in there. Okay, so. <sighs> yep. Bucky's pet policy says the health code prohibits live animals, including dogs, where food could be punished be contaminated. There are exceptions for service animals and animals that could work with police officers. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, that's normal. That's pretty normal. Yep. The super normal thing. I swear to God, fucking YouTubers and streamers are actually just, like, people who trying to make emotional support animals, like, service, like, service animals, like, mm -hmm. have ruined that. But I feel like the prominence of, like, TikTok and shorts and stuff have, like, ruined that even more because of mm -hmm. shit like this. And it just makes me tired. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. I people. agree. So much. <laughs> Five dollars from Tricky Mario. Thank you, dude. Um, did you see the article I submitted on Discord regarding a group trying to stop Fox Philadelphia WTXF TV's FCC license renewal for political reasons? No, I did not see that. But I'll make sure to check it out for next time. Thank you. Thanks for the donation, dude. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, I do want, kind of want to see. Need my emotional support, Dolphin. Let's see the video. 
Because why not? We're here already. Here's the video. <sighs> How long is this? 19 minutes. We're not going to watch all 19 minutes. But you know what we will do? You motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. Oh, you piss us off. It says that you're banned from all Bucky's property and everything. Every single Bucky's? Yes, sir. The world's largest Bucky's. What is it, like a Walmart kind of place? It seems like it. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna watch all of this. Let's go ahead. Okay, we're done. Oh, you just, you just bath in the duck. Oh, ducks are cool. I like ducks. Ducks are adorable. For this. Let's go oh, into the bucky. Oh, bucky ring He's just in there. Oh, oh yeah, right. So bucky. that's funny. Bucky's in love. Or maybe he'll uh, help. Yeah. Huh. We we'll, we'll watch a couple minutes, guys. And she's the son of this dog. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the minimum love. wage worker well, going like, I don't care enough to deal with us. Love. Maybe he's just playing into the holiday. I'm not quite sure. He sure does look cute. Bucky's is a gas you station? Know, Apparently not, guys. <laughs> You're wrong. You think they have your well, actually looks like a grocery store. It's about the Valentine marshmallow. Kind of squeezy. They look very tasty for Valentine's. A little sweets for your sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, everyone's just gonna like laugh at it, right? Like, well, yeah, because it's cute and adorable. Like, this guy doesn't give a shit. He's on a he look. He had food in his hand. He's on a break. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Uh, but she is a service animal. I know. Yeah, she's fucking not. If, if he has the ID for it, it's a service animal, yeah. She's not a fucking service animal. Yes, yeah. you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. Maybe, maybe in America you can. The, uh, probably tell, oh, yeah. No, no, no. The, the HIPAA Act. Yeah, that's right. HIPAA Act, you can't ask that sort of, those sort of things because it's, it's like a confidential yeah. matter for, for health. No, 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 no. I am 90% sure that you can actually ask it's what the, the no, you can ask what the service animal is trained to do specifically, actually. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, no. it's, maybe that's how it is in Canada, but. No, no, no. That's an American thing. Because okay. I actually watched somebody, I think, who has a, a service dog and I'm pretty sure she's American. That like and you, she's just like yeah. You can ask like about like what they can do, like because it's not specific. Like you can just say oh they're trained to detect a yeah. heart thing, but without actually saying what you have. Yeah, yeah. yeah you just have mean, to yeah. tell them what they're trained to do. I'm ninety percent okay. sure that uh, that is. I correct. want to skip ahead to the next encounter. I don't care about the, like all this nonsense. Where, where does he get thrown out? They can fly out, right? You have to put a leash on it, yeah. Which is, by the way, completely reasonable. Yeah. Like, you, you, you should just put a leash on it. Mm -hmm. Like, it would have been fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you have a leash, <laughs> just walking with them. It's great. Like, yeah. It's... Like, there's there's two things you can ask about people with service animals, and it has to be specifically about the animal, not their medical condition. You got shoes so is on. that wearing? Yeah, it's wearing booties. <laughs> That's the goose's name. name. That's the goose's name. That's the goose's name. That's the goose's name. Thank you. That's funny. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. But yeah, he's. He should have just had a leash. If he had a leash, he would have been fine, I think. Yeah, but also, she's obviously not an actual fucking service animal. And that just makes me tired. Well, if he has ID saying that she is. It's fake ID. He literally just handed the cop an ID for the duck. <laughs> that's her ID. So, yeah. I don't, I would not believe a word that comes yeah. out of his fucking mouth. That's funny. I'm What's so that noise? I don't fucking know. I'll go check. I think if the water on. I might have. I might have, I might have not totally that's turned That's really the water's still on in the, in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. So, that was, that was funny. That was pretty funny, you know? No. <laughs> I enjoyed that. No. Okay. Next article. The Japanese artist who made a vagina kayak was convicted of obscenity. It, it was it was that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was like the tiniest little like stream. Yep. <laughs> yep. Sorry. 
The Japanese artist who made a vagina kayak was convicted of obscenity. A Tokyo court ruled that while the artist's vagina-shaped object were art, she was guilty of obscenity for digitally distributing 3D scans of her vagina that could sexually arouse others. Okay, so. Megumi Igarashi, the Japanese artist famous for creating a kayak shaped like her vagina, was found guilty of obscenity. So basically, she 3D scanned her vagina. Here it is. This is the opening. This is her actual real vagina. She 3D scanned it. And she turned it into a kayak that you can, like, <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to do that because I'd look at the giant hole and then just feel like a fucking used up whore. You just go in? <laughs> like, like, I know it's the size of a kite. Like, I understand, but I'm just like, I can't. I can't. <laughs> yep. One to one scale. <laughs> so there's the kayak shit, like her vagina. <laughs> so fucking stupid. That's actually really funny, but I'm more, I think I'm more impressed by the fact that they decided to fucking arrest her. Like, holy shit. <laughs> A 3D scanner can be used to make a pussy boat. Pussy boat. Don't you the love pussy a pussy boat, boat? guys, the pussy boat. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at her fucking... <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Yep. Okay, so she scanned... I was able to row in a boat modeled after my own vagina, she said on her website. She was fined $3,700 for sharing data from 3D scans of vagina that can be recreated by their users and sexually arouse them. Okay, so basically, Japan has the censored porn thing. Oh, right, yeah. right. And this is violating that. Yep. Yep. The court found her not guilty of obscenity for exi for exhibiting her vagina-shaped artwork at a Tokyo sex shop as the objects were decorated and painted in colors different from skin color and therefore don't resemble female genitalia. So it was the kayak. Yeah, but the scan itself was a detailed scan. Oh, okay. Yep. It's because you could see her clit. <laughs> you just need to pixelate it, baby. That's the it. The clit is what needed to be censored, yep. not the hole. <laughs> right. the Deco man, the decoration on her mold pussy. Not mold, you know what I mean? Different kind of mold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like those should be two different words. Like, yeah. it, I feel I feel like the mold of like making stuff should just have a U in it, it and bad mold should just be the normal spell. <laughs> I'm glad this was in Japan so I can comfortably believe it's just quirkiness and not some weird attempt at gender ideology practice. Yeah, but here's the thing. If it happened in the West, it'd be like some feminist being like, I turned my pussy into whatever because they've done that before. Mm -hmm. They made like pussy bread and they've made like pussy perfume and fucking the goop candles with Gwyneth Paltrow. I mean, that's just what she's fucking doing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This I is guess. the same. You guys just want to call it quirkiness. No, no. I think it's because Japan does not have the same kind of feminist culture. Yeah, but, like, listen, guys, it's the same, but in Japan, you guys think it's quirky, and in the West, you think it's gross. I don't know if you think so. It's the same. <laughs> it looks... I make art pieces with my mold pussy. This is my pussy smartphone case. <laughs> yeah. So, Igarashi goes by the pseudonym Roku Denashiko, which is a good for... which means good for nothing girl. Said that her work is against the discriminative and ignorant treatment of the vagina. So, maybe she's a feminist. Yeah, you're right. I am always this right is about everything. Bullshit. This is feminist bullshit. <laughs> it's the fucking same. As an artist, I focus on my own vagina as the motif for my art. Igarashi said on her website, she said that while the penis has become part of Japanese pop culture, the vagina is still a taboo in society. Actually, yeah, have you heard about that? No, actually. Here's what. Stop it. Move it somewhere else. Okay. Japanese fertility parades. Once a year, they have like a festival dedicated to the penis. Can you show those images on YouTube? Uh, I guess I am. But can you? Um, I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Like, look at this. Look at this fucking guy, dude. I mean, there's no real penises here, so it's fine, right? Sure. This is all just sculptures. Oh, penis popsicles, go back. Yeah. yeah. Penis popsicles. <laughs> and also, like, the kids do go to these festivals, so it's kind of weird. But yeah. Yeah, it's kind of strange, dude. It's kind of strange. The vagina has been thought to be obscene because it's been overly hidden, although it's just a part of a woman's body. I want to make the vagina more casual and pop. Okay. She made a vagina lampshade, a, she made a vagina lampshade, a remote control vagina car, and a vagina smartphone case. She wants to challenge various injustices that exist in society. Yeah. I would like to give a new meaning to pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. And this is demonetized. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, there we go. I mean, this, it's the same. All of you who said it was quirky, you're wrong, because women do yep. this in the West and you don't like it. You're this right. This is just like bachelor party penis cakes. Like, this oh, is, no, you know what this is? This shit's the same. It's, all, it's also just any avant-garde 
artist ever. This is, this is what we're talking about. Oops. Good job, Duff. Oh, yeah. no, guys, the black place, lady was back. She's pretty. Place Japan. See? Yeah, pretty much. It's the exact same thing, yep. but you soy out over one of them. Yep. I'm sorry, remote controlled vagina car? Yeah. With little RC cars. Badge, What's the next article, guys? <laughs> badge coin pouch win soon. <laughs> Jeff Bezos' ex-wife has given most of the $640 million in donations to extreme left groups boosting migrant criminals and trans athletes. So, yeah, this is a big thing. Um, Jeff Bezos' wife divorced him, and she got, like, billions upon billions upon billions of dollars. Yeah, because Jeff settlement. Bezos has billions upon billions upon billions of dollars. Yeah, but she doesn't have any fucking right to it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm so tired of you today. <laughs> we still have to spend many more hours together and I'm already done with you. Don't do this. Be nice. <laughs> I am being nice. Are you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Mackenzie Bezos was awarded 25% of their Amazon shares valued at over $38 billion. Okay, so she got $38 billion. That's only 25%? The... Holy yep. shit. <laughs> and she donated $640 million of that of those billions to groups boosting migrant criminals and trans athletes. I don't even care. You just got billions of dollars. You can spend it on whatever she wants. Mm. <laughs> like <laughs> most of the six hundred and forty million in new charitable donations and um, that Mackenzie Scott gave away will go to nonprofits pushing left wing causes, including helping migrants who commit crimes and boosting male born transgender athletes who want to compete against women. She will provide 67 migrant advocacy organizations that combined $122 million for legal aid and other assistance. That is ridiculous. <laughs> the big winners include the Florida Immigrant Coalition, which vehemently opposes Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' crackdown on migrants who commit crimes. Because they're migrants and therefore they're innocent and they don't, they don't deserve it because they're... They're, 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 I understand. They're un underprivileged, and so they, it's not their fault that they killed someone and then ate the fucking corpse and then raped the child. Listen, this isn't Haiti. <laughs> they're coming from Haiti. They're right? talking about Florida. This isn't Haiti. <laughs> they're sailing across. Um, Tennessee Immigrant Refugee Rights Coalition, which is fighting that state's efforts to increase illegal migrant enforcement. It's, ri like, it's ridiculous. Okay? Like, here, I understand. I understand the very correct pushback against right wingers who just want to deport. Like, the legal immigrants. Yes. Right? That's stupid. But all this stuff of, like, the right-wingers are racist. Therefore, we must be completely okay when someone jumps the border and rapes some kids and then kills us and kills people. And it's, it has to be completely okay. It's like, no, you fucking retards! No. Yeah, that's dumb. But listen, she has billions of dollars and she's only wasting a little bit of it. So... You just waste it on whatever she wants. It's not even that I don't care about these issues being dumb. It's just that she has so much money and that it really doesn't matter mm. in the end. Because have, no one actually cares about this person. I've <laughs> met those right wingers, Sigurd, or I've met them. Okay. Anyway, ridiculous donations, ridiculous donations, of course. She's exactly, ridiculous. agree, exactly. Four ninety nine. Hey Dev. Mm -hmm. Hopes you've been well and that you actually get to fight next D and D. <laughs> Thanks, real hallucinator. Thanks, buddy. How have you been? Okay. So here are the rewards: include 117 million dollars to 67 prisoner advocacy groups and other organizations helping jailbirds and ex-cons. That's and actually nice. Depends on what the the crime is. Well, yeah, no, but like I'm talking about like the people like oftentimes if you go to jail and like because the point of jail generally, which is actually part of the reason why I believe in the death penalty, is to rehabilitate. Right? How do you rehabilitate with the death penalty? No, 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 no. Like, there's people who I think don't, sh like, can't be rehabilitated and they get the death penalty. Yeah. But the point of jail is to rehabilitate. So oftentimes, though, they do their duty and are actually, like, at least mostly rehabilitated, go out into the world and then end up falling back into their old ways because no one will fucking hire them because they did, they did their, they did the punishment for their crime. Mm hmm right? Mm -hmm. So, generally, I more or less support helping out jail, like, people who are ex-cons and whatnot, because the point is that you want to keep them as an ex-con, not yep. be a current con. <laughs> I agree, I agree. I'll look at that in a minute. Okay, so, um, she's pushing $72 million to 43 groups promoting gender identity, sexual orientation, other LGBT causes, such as championing the rights of biological boys who identify as transgender girls to compete in female sports. Obviously ridiculous. She earmarked 18 million to 10 groups pushing clean energy. Like, this should be the majority of the fucking 
<sighs> yeah, it should, but it's not gonna be. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. TPD, Naomi. What does TPD mean? I don't know all the acronyms of words. Oh my god. Bezos' wife is using the profits he made through capitalism to fund the rope that will hang capitalism. Like, fuck off, commie. <laughs> fuck you. Scott's use of Bezos' money is yet another example of woke phil philanthropic groups created through the fruits of capitalism, such as the leftist Rockefeller Foundation, using their dollars to undermine three market principles. The things she, she's donating money to with the transgender ideas, helping illegals, prisoner rights, climate change, they're all trying to transform our system away from capitalism. God damn it. Take the money back. She, she shouldn't have got it. Yeah. Been amazing, but very busy. Thanks for the $2, Holtzenator. Hope you're enjoying things. He just said he was. Yep. Well, <laughs> he said it's been, I said, how's it been? He said it's been amazing. But it's been busy. And yeah. then you just said, I hope you've been enjoying things to someone who said it's been amazing. Yeah. Learn how to small talk. No. <laughs> not he, not she, just me. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, they'd be more impactful for someone who is actually non-binary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway. A bunch of this money's coming around, a bunch of this money's coming around. Like, what a... What a terrible spread. Yeah. Like, put, put most of this into clean energy. Yep. Also, yeah, lots of clean energy is unreliable, but I think the point of clean energy is to also help, like, it's to help reduce mm -hmm. relying only on one source yeah. also, of energy. Also, give us nuclear power, dude. Like, that too, can... yeah. God. Anyway, next article, because this is stupid. No, stupid <laughs> this, is, this is like a nothing burger. I was like, ah, oh, yes, rich person spent money on things I don't like. <laughs> oh, yeah, someone asked me to show this off. What is it? Video appears to show man with a severed body part in California. Why? Okay. So basically what happened, I think this is the story, unless there's multiple severed leg stories happening this week, which there might be. It's fucking California. Yeah. A horrifying video circulating on social media appeared to show a man carrying a severed body part of someone killed by a train. Oh, yeah. And he was arrested. A deadly train collision. Yeah. Okay. So basically, the story that I heard... <laughs> Is that a homeless guy got hit by a train and died? Yep, that's what I heard. And then too. the other another homeless guy grabbed his leg and like yep. took it to go eat it. Yep, because he had no fucking food. Yep. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they charged him with removing evidence from the scene. He was booked to jail for taking evidence from a scene, also outstanding warrants. He is charged. He is on a charge of removing or mutilating human remains. Fucking wild, dude. <laughs> Just grill it up. Got to go full Haiti mode. No, you just gotta go. It's not even about Haiti. It's just going full cannibal mode. Yeah, I'm in Haiti. Yeah, but Haiti's like newer development. Like, what's what's that movie where they had the kids eating each other? Oh, From a plane crash, they were stuck in the mountains. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that one. Was it alive or whatever? I don't remember. Okay, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Was while you're typing. No, like unreliable sources are are to be used in conjunction with more reliable sources because they're not unreliable all the time. They're supposed you should be using the unreliable sources on a smaller scale to help lessen the impact on everyone only using one source mm -hmm. of energy. But if for whatever but when your unreliable sources do have their moments of unreliability, then you have the main source of energy to go back to for those moments of unreliability. I mean, yeah, like, there's there's history of cannibalism happening in the ancient past when we had no food, but yeah. yeah. Well, no, of course. Yeah, the word cannibal is derived from the Spanish cannibal or caribal, which was originally used as a name for the Caribs, which were a tribe of people um, from the Lesser Antilles in the Caribbean. And they were basically all wiped out with Spanish contact. But they were these islands here. I don't remember if it was a soccer team or not, Mark. It wasn't Lord of the Flies. <laughs> okay, hold on. So here's the location of the islands where the cannibal tribe lived. Was, yeah, that, and where's Haiti? Where's Haiti? Oh, it's pretty close, actually. Well, so yeah, <laughs> this, it's probably in their blood. Let's be racist about it. <laughs> sure, why not? But, uh, but, but, okay. Anyway, let's continue with this stuff. 
What is an abrosexual, guys? Let me explain. It took me 30 years to realize my identity. Is she attracted to grass? You know what she is? Uh, she's approaching middle age and really lonely and bored and has nothing going on in her life. Yeah, that too, but I, no, but like, okay, so at first a lot of the different, like, oh, I'm this and I'm this sexual. I'm like, this. They, they actually scientifically mean things. <laughs> <laughs> they aren't just like totally made up words. Not anymore, baby. No, not anymore, but at first. At first. <laughs> they actually meant things. Not anymore, baby. No, I know it's a real thing that happened. It was a movie based off a thing. Yeah, okay, it was a soccer team. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, let's see what this let's see what this shit is. When did you decide this? Is this even a label? I've never heard of it. I support you, obviously, but it doesn't sound real. These are just some of the words that greeted me when I came out as abrosexual to a close friend back in 2020. Needless to say, we're not friends anymore. For those of you who don't know what abrosexuality is, in layperson's terms, it simply means when someone's sexual identity fluctuates and changes. Oh, okay. You know what? I, I don't think there is actually a word for that. I also don't really think that's It's called some... attention seeking. I mean that too. I suppose technically you're probably just bisexual. Yes, obviously. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I read and reread the text, the dismissiveness of the message cutting deeper each time. Here I was, sharing my identity with someone I trusted, only for them to scoff at my words. Oh. Although the easy defense is that you can't determine someone's tone from a text message, I think it's clear that the vibe was far from supportive. It was judgmental and immediately doubtful. Oh, yeah. I support you, obviously. Yeah. But your thing doesn't sound <laughs> real, and I need an explanation. I've yep. never heard of this before. But I support you. Doesn't, Although the... that's not supportive. <laughs> uh, this is bisexual plus mental illness. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Although the easy defense is you can't determine someone's tone from a text message, I think it's clear that the vibe was far from supportive. It was judgmental, immediately doubtful. Yeah, literally, Abra used teleport and left the battle. Get the fuck away from this chick. <laughs> Abrosexual, yeah. Sadly, this person isn't the only one who has voiced their opinions on my abrosexuality, and I doubt they'll be the last. When I was growing up, I never even heard of the term abrosexual, because I just invented it. <laughs> you were either straight, gay, or lesbian, as far as the 90s society was concerned. I mean, there was also bi, but... No, no, yeah. no, that's actually kind of true, though. So in the 90s, you could only be gay or straight. Like, lesbian, too, but, like, you could be gay or straight, but you couldn't be bisexual. No, bi existed. No, yeah, yeah, but listen, the, but there was... You, you weren't technically, like, you shouldn't you be bi. You weren't allowed. You weren't allowed to be bi mm. in either community. It's more accepted nowadays, mm. but, like... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of, like, bi hatred in gay and lesbian communities. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. 100%, yeah. Because they're just like, well, you can straight pass, so you're obviously not real, so you don't yeah. understand the trauma that yeah. us gays have to and go through. And also, you're a traitor, you're going to you're gonna cheat on me if I yeah, date you. Exactly, it's like, oh, yeah. fuck you, dude. Well, I mean, that's the problem. A lot of straight people think that, too. Like, yeah. if they're, you're, if they're dating a bisexual person, that they're just like, well, you're going to go cheat on a girl or a guy. Yeah. And I'm just I remember, like, oh, um, no. <laughs> I had done a, like, a crossover with, like, a more right-leaning chick. Mm -hmm. And it came up that I was bi, and she was like, that's gross. And it's like, okay, dude, like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, your sexuality is gross. That definitely gives all of my opinions much more validity. <laughs> and it's also just like, oh, my God. Like, it's, it's one of those things where, like, this person seems to have been, like, okay with lesbians and just did not like bi guys, which is pretty common, to be honest. Yeah. Dude, there are so many chicks out there who mm -hmm. are like, of course I'm bi. I made out with my friend at the bar. Oh, mm -hmm. you're you're a bi guy? That's fucking weird. You're gross. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Yeah, there's a lot of hatred towards, like, yeah. male sexuality that is not straight. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's so dumb. Lesbians still gay. Yeah, I'm just using the word gay so I don't have to say gay and lesbian. Yeah, yeah. Just gay. <laughs> Same. Homo. <laughs> homo. <laughs> you know what? I, sh I should actually just start saying homo. That would be easier. Mm -hmm. Well. As the umbrella term rather than gay. Sexuality can change. It does seem to be the case that sexuality changes over time. People I get, mean. People like gain and lose taste over time like anything else, yeah. Well, like if, if you're like just... Abrosexuality probably isn't real. It's probably just bisexual, but oh, I'm having my woman phase. Because that's actually a thing in the bisexual yeah. community. It's just like, you, oh yeah, I'm having my woman phase where I'm like pretty much only attracted to women. Like, I could still fuck a guy, but I don't really want to right now. Yeah, and you, then, you like, go through phases, and, then, yeah. and then over the years, it's like, oh yeah, man, fucking men. I love men. <laughs> you yeah. know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's true as well, big AEC. There's also a hate for male sexuality in general right yep. now. Yeah, there is. Yep, there yeah. is. Okay, so let's see. This person isn't the only one who voiced their opinions about heterosexuality. Okay. Let's see. Of course, we know. So here's the thing. Anything else was made up aside from your straight gay or lesbian? Oh, my God. I just, I just like whistled. 
<laughs> um, of course, you know that's far from the truth. But aside with blind spots, I mean, you learn terms much slower than, than if they're readily accessible. Okay, mm -hmm. well, let's, let's see the fucking readily accessible nonsense. Oh. <laughs> Often, people don't go looking to educate themselves. Educate yourself, shitlord. <laughs> on, <laughs> on different orientations, unless it directly affects them. Without that incentive, I found many stick to what they already know. I didn't learn about abrosexuality until two years ago when I turned 30. Okay, so this is literally just you having a midlife crisis. Okay. Hmm. Up until that point, I struggled to identify what my sexuality was because it fluctuated so rapidly. So I was bi. just I was just a slut. <laughs> it fluctuated so fast. <laughs> I, was a, I was bi, but only when I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> there were times that I too scoffed, chastising myself for being so uncertain of who I was. It wasn't that I couldn't make my mind up, but rather my identity shifted. One day I felt like I was a lesbian. The next day, days or weeks later, I felt more aligned with bisexuality. My sexuality was fluid. You're just going through your bisexual phases, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you were just, you mm -hmm. were just going through your phases. There's... I had it. <laughs> Deb had it. We all had it. <laughs> There's always some people who enjoy demanding that I pick a lane so my identity doesn't offend them. It's just bisexual, bitch. That's all it is. <laughs> you fucking retard. Before learning about abrosexuality, I felt lost as if, as if out at sea. I also felt like a fraud because of how much I had changed my identity when chatting with my loved ones. It's because you are a fraud, you dumb fuck. Very clearly you're a fraud. No one was intentionally hurtful, but I get the occasional, but you said you were a lesbian last week. They didn't understand. And at that time, I didn't have the right words to explain myself. God, this was literally just fucking me in high school because, like, I felt like... You know, because there was still, like, in high school, even though I was at, like, a super, like, there was still a bit of the bi hatred still, like, lingering around yeah. when I was in high school. Yeah. So, like, I was just like, you can't be both. You can only be gay or you can be straight. <laughs> 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 That's all. That's all you can be. Yep. But I was, like, 16. Yep. <laughs> Not 30. 30. <laughs> yeah, it's just bisexuality. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> it was only when I was reading the Instagram page of Zoe Stoller, a U.S.-based creator, educator, and social worker who seeks to improve the visibility of the LGBTQ plus community. Who are already hyper-visible right now because of all this bullshit going on because everyone is a fucking gender activist. LGBTQIA. LGBTQIAP. Q-R-S-T-U-V. Wait, do you know what the P is for? Uh, pedos. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> then I saw the word, the term abrosexuality for the first time. You know the cartoons when a light bulb appears above their heads? That's what I felt like when I read their post. Finally, I feel seen. <laughs> Thanks for the five dollars, Starhawks. Left leaning people view me with incredulity when I say that I'm bi instead of one of several new inclusive terms. This wasn't true a decade ago. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, absolutely. It's, it's also like all the new terms are trying their hardest to just erase bi. Yep. Because that's why it should be LGBTA. And everything else mm -hmm. is underneath and not labeled yeah. because every single one of those is just an umbrella term. Yeah. Or whatever other fucking yeah. plus you want to include. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, when discovering a new... While discovering a new... Blah, 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 blah. While discovering a new term for me has been hugely beneficial to understanding myself better. To some people, my identity is one that evokes confusion. Yeah, because it's like... it's No one fucking knows or cares what the fuck that means, dude. Yep. That's why it's confusing. <laughs> yep. When I tell people that I'm eyebrosexual, I'm often greeted by, by I'm often greeted by a blank, a blank expression, followed by a question of what the term actually means. And questions are fine as long as they're respectful. I'm not expecting everyone to know what it means. I didn't know until two years ago. You should always learn with respect. Listen with respect. You're reading too respect. fast. Slow respect. Respect my I'm abrosexual. Respect me. <laughs> Dude, okay, our TV is so big that her head's actually bigger bigger than our heads in real life, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Because <laughs> the picture's so, so huge. <laughs> Right. Before coming out as abrosexual, I felt restricted, and able to understand myself. Okay, fine, lady. All right. Okay. Just wait. Hold on. One question that I have, I've been asked, is about how being abrosexual impacts my love life. And in short, it doesn't. So it doesn't fucking matter. It wait, wait, no. It doesn't alter my romantic relationships in the same way being bisexual doesn't because a per cause a person to feel any differently about their partner. That just means you're bisexual! Yep. You're just fucking bisexual, <laughs> bitch. That's all it is. I love the person rather than the gender. Hold on. I love the person rather than gender. Then that, that just means you're pansexual, That's, which is just yeah. a subgenre of bisexuality. Yes. Naomi is like off the couch now. She fell on the floor. <laughs> oh my god. Okay.
Okay, let's see here real quick. I, I decided to pull this up because I wanted to see. Okay. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Pansexuality. Pansexuality is sexual, romantic, or emotional attraction towards people of all genders or regardless of their sex or gender identity. So that generally means that you're bisexual, but you do not care if a person is yeah. trans or intersex. It doesn't fucking matter yep. to you. Pansexual people might refer to themselves as being gender blind, yep. asserting that gender and sex are not determining factors in their romantic or sexual attraction. So basically, mm -hmm. bisexuality is... You're I'm attracted, attracted to, to... cis women or cis men? No, you can also be turned into trans people, I think. Nah. If you're bisexual, yeah. Hold on, so hear me out, hear me out. Bisexuality is I'm attracted to both men and women. Yeah. Pansexuality is I don't care about the sex. Yep. There's like almost complete overlap there. Yeah. But it is at least conceptually a different thing. However, mm -hmm. pansexuality says gender doesn't matter. Yeah. Abrosexuality is a person who has different levels of sexual romantic attractions throughout your life. A person who is abrosexual may have also changes in sexual orientation over time. A person who is abrosexual may, might be sexually attracted to men at one point. They're not sexually attracted to anyone weeks later. So it's literally just sexuality that changes. So you're bi. Yes. Yeah. But it's also like pan. <laughs> it's so dumb. Yeah, well, no. Pan like it's bisexuality and then right underneath is pansexuality. That's why LGBTA mm -hmm. is all umbrella terms. This is stupidity. Yes. Oh, dude. The, the parent category of pansexuality is plurisexuality. No. Plurisexuality or multisexuality is a term used to describe individuals who are attracted to multiple genders. <laughs> yep. I like Hold how on. there's Wait. sexual orientations. Asexual, bisexual, heterosexual, homosexual. Just wait. Hold on. Some plurisexuals may feel represented by the bisexual umbrella. However, not every plurisexual identifies as bisexual. How can you be plurisexual without being bi? That doesn't... It's not possible. It doesn't make any sense. No, it fucking doesn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> there are two things, normal and gay. Correct. <laughs> Giga chat. <laughs> Everything else is, an, uh, is under. <laughs> oh, I missed a fiver. Thanks, fiver. Wait, $2 from Kevin PH. What happened to the Discord server? It's still there. It's still there. Fiver, $5 from, from uh, Fondue. Thank you. Had a girl that was pansexual after she explained it to me. I replied with, so you're bi? It was a bad move on my part. Oh, man. Okay, I actually have a story about that. So in okay. high school, because yeah. I was, you know, a Tumblr rate, you know, I was... You were a Tumblr rate. I was. I was more and or less a Tumblr rate in high school. And so I I did actually identify as pansexual, okay? Uh -huh. So, but for people who had no idea what it was, I would start off by describing how it's bisexuality and then scoot and then explain the differences between why I specifically identify as pan, as pan, but it is bisexuality. And I had a friend yell at me over that. Because really? I started it off with, it's like being bi. He's like, it's not like being bi! And I was just like, yes, it is. Are you pansexual? Wait, no. Who Shut yelled, the fuck who, up. Who yelled at you? Uh, someone I don't even think I've actually talked to you about okay, before. Like, yeah, it, he I was know like, some of the people. He, he was like off friends, but because we took the yeah. same classes together, yeah, yeah, yeah. so like we had to hang out like a lot, but like I didn't like I didn't really hang out with him outside, 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 outside of school. Outside school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, all right. Mate, you're just confused or just say you're bisexual, be done with it. But I mean, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to be boxed in by someone else's limited knowledge. We're all learning new things about ourselves all the time. That's what growth and development is about. Eventually, I hope that abrosexuality will be seen as normal. <laughs> Just another identity that someone might have and not regarded as a way to be on trend. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> God, that's so stupid. Oh, my God. No, wait, she's almost done. You gotta finish reading it. I'm not reading this. You gotta finish I'm reading done. it. Look, it's almost done. <laughs> I wish I knew why my friend reacted to my identity in such a hurtful way. Because it's retarded. That's it. It's retarded. <laughs> For coming out as abrosexual, I felt restricted, unable to be myself, because I didn't quite know how to accept the parts of me I didn't understand. Now that I know, I can put a name to my identity, and I'm excited to see how that fluidity emerges. Hopefully it emerges with you never having sex ever a fucking gun. Uh, okay. Listen, this would have just been fixed by her just accepting that she was bi, not being like, oh, I'm asexual. Oh, two weeks later, I'm a lesbian. You know? Like, <laughs> that that's how okay. you fix that. It's just like, ah, oh, yes, have I ever been attracted to men and women at the, at the same time? Yes? Bye. So, Done. This is Emma Flint writing about a freelance journalist writing about her sexuality. Yep. She's also done, like, other 
articles of terrifying things like mum brings murdered son back to life with ai jesus that's you don't you can't cope that way don't do that oh man that's gonna become such a popular fucking thing Ooh, yeah. shit <laughs> liking my breasts doesn't make me any less non-binary what what the fuck okay so she's also non-binary guys for weeks after I came out, the dislike of my breasts intensified. Ever since I went through... I hate this person. <laughs> For a non-binary person like me, learning to feel content in my body and embracing my breasts was, revolution, was revelatory in accepting my gender identity. This is because the narrative around trans and non-binary bodies focuses on dysphoria. Yeah, it's because without dysphoria, you're not fucking trans. You're just like a weird cross-dresser or you're a tomboy or some bullshit. <laughs> this person just wants to be special. That's all it is. Yeah. I want to be special. I want to be the main character. Yeah. I'm still young and hip and with it, right? <laughs> Fuck. It's, it's, it's kind of like... I fuck my dog, too. Fuck, probably. It's okay. It's, it's not a white woman fuck dog situation because she's been on binary, so it doesn't count. Yep. It's non binaries fuck dogs. <laughs> My breasts don't make me a woman any more than a penis makes someone a man. It's about how you see yourself that matters. <laughs> now, why do all trans women get breasts <laughs> if it doesn't make them a woman? It doesn't make them a woman. <laughs> why do they get breasts? Why do they transition if their physical attributes don't fucking matter, you retard? God, everyone's dumb. It, it's like she's, she's like seeing some small things in herself that do set her apart from like the normies, but like she's just blowing it out of proportion because she, she realizes she's not as special as someone who like has dysphoria and whatnot. And wait, 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 wait. Terminology isn't rigid, meaning when we attempt to create static labels, we often do more harm than good. You literally took a new label called <laughs> abrosexual. <laughs> oh my god wait for me taking nudes as a non-binary person is an act of empowerment oh my god do you want to see your nudes i don't think she's gonna actually post them on there she's not brave enough no <laughs> i struggle with imposter syndrome and i were constantly worried that i'm not queer why are all of her articles about this fucking her talking about herself probably because that's what she got hired for or it's just like her own thing she's on of course she's on Twitter. She can, you're probably already pre-blocked. <laughs> Let's see. She's a journalist at The Gaming Bible. No fucking way she's a gamer. No fucking way. Smut Goblin. She's written for The Guardian, The Independent, BBC Metro. I do think that's actually a thing in the communities now. Mm -hmm. That, like, you, like, if you're just, like, a normal person... <laughs> who happens to not be straight, you're not queer enough. But if you're hanging out with other people who are, like, making their sexual, um, likes their whole identity, yep. then... Oh, hydrate. Ah! Some order to hydrate. Oh, Igor, you over on Twitch, order to hydrate. Drink up, everyone. I'm drinking. Dude, <laughs> check this bitch out. Because I can't be trusted to read anything medical related on Google without having extreme health anxiety, can someone tell me if it's okay to take antihistamines while taking sertraline? Listen, just look at fucking up. Like, I can't even. I can't look at it on my phone. Oh, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have. Oh, I'm having an anxiety attack. Ah, it's like, like, just weed yourself out of the gene pool, lady. Fuck. Oh, apparently liking has been hotel is now a red flag. Dev. Shall I wave my red flag? <laughs> yes. I've already, I've already said all your red flags. Oh, yeah. The aristocratic elegance of the small-breasted woman. I remember, like, someone was like, it, 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 is, it is modernist and degenerate and, and proletarian and fundamentally, like, low-class American to, like, big tits and big asses and big cocks. The actual European aristocrat, you know, the highest, the, the, the people with good breeding of the human race in our society, they have, they like small boobs, small asses, and small dicks. They literally and then, wore and then, corsets to give themselves then, massive cleavage. And then Lilith was like, <laughs> I have all of those things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Let's keep going. What else? Playing a star so I can romance a star. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> How to get mods in the Steam? Okay, I, I'm looking for cringe. Give me the cringe, lady. I mean, the fact that she shouldn't, she should just be playing on her PC yeah. if she wants to mod Asterion. <laughs> yeah. 
That's pretty cringe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Probably a socialist thing, I'm gonna assume. That's the new one. Frozen Empire. You, you didn't even know that it came out. Did I didn't you? even know yeah. there was a new Ghostbusters yeah. movie, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe Maid does have a purpose after all. <laughs> she just be like a cat mom. Yeah. Mom. Oop, shit. Don't spill water now. I already did. I'm sorry. Note to self, don't spin these upside down. <laughs> to be honest, she, keep, she, she seems to be keeping a lot of her cringe off of... Uh, off of Twitter. Oh, wait. Wait till they discover my sex diary on Metro and my wanking article on Cosmo. Oh. Here we go. I'm not sure the difference between aerosexual and bisexual. I read your article and I can, I can only glean that the term aerosexual was imagined by obese, sexually repressed, attention-seeking Karen such as yourself. <laughs> Putting your creative abilities into your writing about things people care about. Not your sexual preferences perhaps realized once a year. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. Should we actually look up her sex diary on Metro? How about we don't? How about Do you guys want to see this bitch's sex diary? Please say no. <laughs> Listen, we need super chats determining which way, which way I go on this. What slur is worst? The N-word or the sand N-word? Probably the original N-word, I think. <laughs> Thoughts on the anti-car movement? Thanks for the $2, guys. Um, anti-car movement is ridiculous. I know that Canada wants to outlaw all uh, gas cars or new gas cars by 2035. They'll have to be electric. I mean, considering that we are like running out of gas and fossil fuels, that's uh, like... Honestly, I think we'll be okay with it for a little while longer than 2035, but... Well, like, I mean, it, it's it's kind of good to get ahead of it, you know, before we Maybe. actually run out and instead of panicking at the last minute, like... If you if if you know it's gonna happen, then you should probably take the steps to prevent it from being fucking just a catastrophe, you know? So mm. like part of me is just like, oh that's stupid, but another part of me is the opinion I just said. So mostly just because I can't afford an electric car. So <laughs> So here she is on Muckrack. Mm hmm She they journalist at Gaming Bible. I will never understand, like, she, they, or, like, he, they, anything other than, like, just they, if you're not binary. It's just, yeah. like, well, if you're a they, then why do you care? Yeah. You know? She's a she, they. She's a gender-fluid freelance journalist, abrosexual. <laughs> she specializes in mental well-being, LGBTQIA+, mental health, and entertainment. Okay, fine. Listen, listen. You know what? We're going to give her one chance. No. We're giving her one chance. No. Don't give her any chance. Let's see how she reviewed Tears of the Kingdom. Like, oh. like these are all like LGBT fucking nonsense bullshit articles. Mm -hmm. Let's see how she actually treated Tears of the Kingdom, okay? Okay, 9.5. Oh my god, cons. Zelda is a damsel in distress again. Of course. I want to see if there's any politics in this. Well, I mean... Yeah, so, here we go. I'm sitting with a secret COT has, the, has to offer. All right. The latest installment, Epic History Zelda franchise is by far one of the best video games I've ever played. It delivers graphically. Okay, it's flawed. Let's see the flaws. Okay. Let's see. Here's the... I'm not going to read the whole review because I don't fucking care about this bitch. I just want to see. Zelda deserves better. <laughs> Once again, Zelda is relegated to damsel in distress with Link needing to rescue her. Although this is typical for Zelda, look at previous games, it feels about time Zelda took on a more hands-on empowered role. I'm just tired of seeing her flounder unless Link is there to save the day. It's been done to death which is, with this rehashing however motive. Can't mask. Okay. Then go play a Zelda game. Not a Link game. I know it's called Zelda, but you know what I mean, right? Like, there are games where Zelda's like actually part of it. Alright? Fucking, I hate you. Okay, here, you know what? Here. Here's what you should play, guys. Is it actually good? You should play. You should play. Zelda's Adventure. Is it actually good or With is it really bad? Really bad FMVs. Jesus. And really bad graphics on the CDI. Like look, look at this game, dude. That looks like shit. How about how about instead the complaint is can we just have a the good Philip Zelda CDI game? Zelda. Can we have a good Zelda game that's not that actually features <laughs> Zelda, not just Link? Dude, I want to play this game one day. Look at it. Look I at this refuse fucking, look at this to play it with Dave. Dude, we're playing it. Zelda. <laughs> no. By the way, someone's actually remaking it in the Game Boy Advance game engine. Wild. Which was Link's Awakening, you know? Mm hmm Yeah. Anyway. 
I'm done with this. I'm done with abrosexuality. I'm done with this bitch. She seems ridiculous. Don't keep scrolling then. Move on. Let's see what else she does. No. Okay. <laughs> Stop hitting me. Anyway. New games suck at the moment. Playing all the FF and Dragon Quest RIP Toriyama games instead. Yeah, man, lots of new no, lots of new games suck right now. They're just fucking awful. Baldur's Gate 3! Also, Tears of the Kingdom. That was last yeah. year now. It's old. Well. 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 Also, Hades that you never played. <laughs> Let's continue. Oh, it's still her. It, Hold on. Devin! <laughs> I want to find one thing. Nah, I, you know I think we're not gonna find any cringe that easily. But to be fair, we've had we've had a fair amount of cringe. She probably so has. Far. She she might actually be one of the smart people that has a uh, like a like a more public account that's her, and then a very private alt account. Yeah, you know, I know what you mean. Where all the cringe is contained. Yeah, I know what you mean. Have you ever had a sh have you ever had a shower that transformed your life? I highly recommend it. Probably the first shower you've ever had. That's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, move Fuck on. you, indirect soder. <laughs> this is the thumbnail for today's stream, guys. Parents of Lacey Fletcher, who melted into the couch after not moving for more than a decade, have been sentenced to 20 years in prison. Did they actually... Why do these people get sentenced to 20 years in prison and the fucking baby rapists get a fucking... Oh. Probably because this was 10 years of torture and not just, like, one rape. As bad as that one rape is. Okay. Check this out. The parents of a badly... Is this, is this a thumbnail? It is a thumbnail. Refre refresh the page if it's not the thumbnail, because it definitely is. You check? Yep, it's thumbnail. Dev forgot to change it, so he changed it at the last minute. Yeah, I changed it, like, right after we started. Yeah, because you're an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. Refresh it, Sigurd, it's changed. Okay. The parents of a badly neglected Louisiana woman found melted into a maggot-infested couch were each sentenced to 20 years in prison on Wednesday after pleading no contest to manslaughter. Okay, 20, uh, $2 from Resta. Thank you. TOTK fell off for me after a, a while after playing it. You fuck, fuck you, banned. <laughs> banned! Resta O knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> you haven't played it yet, Naomi. Listen, I did try to play it. I don't think it's as good as Breath of the Wild. Give me your fucking face. Yeah, why? I'm going to squish it. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Sheila? 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 Sheila and Clay Fletcher of East Felicana were arrested in January of 2022 after the 36-year-old daughter, Lacey Fletcher, was discovered dead in a fetid crater on the family sofa. Jesus. Covered by urine and feces. Lacey vanished from, from the public view. Wait, who's, who's streaming banned? Banned? Oh, right, me. I was. Okay. <laughs> Lacey, who vanished from public view in 2002 when she was roughly 16 years old, had not moved from that spot for 12 years and weighed only 96 pounds when she Why was Why didn't she move? A stunned local medical examiner concluded that she had died from acute neglect and said he remains traumatized by the case two years later. I probably would too. That's pretty fucked up. Okay, so there's the mother. She's been arrested. She's going to jail. God, she just looks like an angry Karen. Yep. Yeah. I have seen every kind of death and dead body in all my years of this work, but I've never seen anything like what happened to Lacey. No one deserves to suffer like that. And then here's the father. They're both going to jail. Good. Lacey had become fused to the couch through her rotted skin, and when she was found, her bones were protruding from her body, according to the coroner. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. We respect the judge's decision. If you had a horse that was in the stall behind your house and you go back there and the flesh is just gone from its body and you can see the bones exposed, you wouldn't even treat your animal like that. I mean, considering the rape orangutan. I think, yeah. I think some people would. I think some people would. <laughs> it's fetid, not feeded, right? Sorry. Okay. Okay, so. We respect the judge's decision. No, so on. The Fletchers insisted on their innocence, asserting that Lacey was of sound mind while suffering from a severe case of Asperger's syndrome. And social anxiety that first flared in her youth. Okay, so part of the crew, part of the ship, part of the crew. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay, this is her. Mm -hmm. She's um, she was born. She was. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, she was 16 years old in 2022. That's when people last stopped seeing her around town. Yeah. Um, they told police that she refused to leave the living room sofa 
and they brought her her meals and set up a potty for her on the couch. So she just sat there for 12 years on the couch and died. It's fucked up. They also claim that Lacey suffered from locked-in no, syndrome. No, not 12 years. She was 12. No, 2022. Oh, no. You're right. Yeah. Sorry. They said that earlier in the yep, article. my bad. They also claim that Lacey suffered from locked-in syndrome, a neurological disorder that prevented her from moving any muscles except her eyes. Jesus. But several sources familiar with the case and family said that was false and laid blame squarely on the Fletchers. Okay, so there's two stories here, right? Yeah, there's two stories because like... Wait, five dollars, real quick. Five dollars from Kevin. Thank you. Thoughts on the peoples and YouTubers that want an advocate for more public transportation? So I'm to the Discord server. Discord server is still around. There's a new Discord server. And yep. also there should be more good public transportation in the yeah, world. Yeah, I think so too, yeah. 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 But the point is that it has to be like actually good. Like, we have public transportation in the shitty, but it's in the, in the, in the shitty. You know what? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's also kind of shit. You guys have a lady who sat on a toilet for two years. Yeah, so, so here, there's two stories, right? One of them is that she had locked-in syndrome, so couldn't she couldn't move. move. So they just put her... On the couch. On the couch. And then neglected her, which is also for really years. bad. Yep. But if she didn't have locked-in syndrome, why didn't she just get up? So if she was... Um, if she was extremely autistic... What, what tends to happen to people who are extremely autistic is their normal kids just very energetic and very verbose, mm -hmm. but they lose the ability to talk as they get older. They become mute. And also, they, they, they can also lose the ability to, like, do things. So it's, it's possible that she just, like, declined and they just sat her on the, on the fucking couch. So the, the, or, like, it doesn't seem, like, they didn't find any, any chains keeping her there. Mm -hmm. So it seemed like something happened to her medically that she couldn't leave the couch anymore. Yeah. Or she didn't want to leave the couch anymore. And then eventually she couldn't. And the parents are just like, we'll just give you a toilet and the fucking couch. And then just didn't fucking take care of her. Yep. Because they're pieces of shit. Yep. Yep. Oh, man. Anyway, keep going. Okay, so. Jesus. There's the, yeah. So oh, she, God. That's really yep, gross. She just sat right there. I can't look at that. That's and yep. she just she just rotted down into the couch. Yep. Please scroll past the picture. Oh my god, dude! She had not moved from the couch in more than a decade. Fuck, that's fucked up. Oh my god, dude. Yep. Hey, citizen Jay, you're in Ottawa, right? We're still looking for a place. Tell us, if, tell us if you know any good places. <laughs> Send me a DM. Okay. According to the case file, Lacey's parents took her to a psychologist around 2000 when she was 14. So it has been like 10 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she relayed that she was suffering from severe social anxiety. They came back to the doctor in 2010 without Lacey and said she was refusing to leave their home and was urinating and defecating on the floor. The physician told them to consider hospitalization, but they never followed up. Yeah, like I feel like if your kid just refuses to leave the house and like is not listening to, is, like listening to you, it's like, okay, we're, it's time to put them in like a medical home. You yep. know, like obvious, like you can't, you know, like if they're not listening to you and you're oh the, your God, parents dude. and you got orderlies to force them to do the things that are healthy for them. <laughs> Zero Fox is like the ultimate otaku. You must always be gaming and anime. Never leave the couch. Ew. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there they are from back in the day. And she just that, sat that there. That picture of the mother is fucking terrifying. That doesn't fucking look real. <laughs> Holy shit. She's like, you will sit on the couch. You will liquefy down into the couch. Holy fucking shit. So, yeah. Is she here on the... Yeah, there she is. Yeah. yeah what? Ninth grade. Close family friend, Jess Easley, who knew the Fletchers for 25 years said he never knew they had a daughter despite their weekly gatherings. Yep. See, that's Funny how you know... Word, like your model, model citizens. See, that's how you know that they were the bad guys because if yep. you don't know that your your friends of 25 years have a have a kid... Yep. Yep. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty bad. Yep. They were nice and soft-spoken, or so we thought. I'm beyond shocked at what happened. I never felt this heartbroken in my life. Forensic pathologist Dana Troxclair found that Lacey's body was riddled with pressure ulcers and that she had suffered chronic bone infection with polarizable fibers and maggots embedded in the exposed surface of the bones. Oh, my God. Maggots were present in the perineum and areas of the, of the whatever. If, if the maggots would have appeared after death, there would have been at least a minimal presence of eggs or larvae in the region of the eyes, ears, or nose. You know what's fucked up is that maggots only feed on dead flesh, too. Yeah. Like, Just rotting away. Yeah. yeah. 
chill on the couch for 24-7 for years. She was living the life. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, her cause of death was lifted as sepsis due to a combination of multiple conditions, including bone infection, extended immobility, extreme malnutrition, and severe chronic neglect of a special needs individual. Yeah. That's fucked up. So they're up. going to jail for 20 years. Good. So, yeah, so, so this or the child porn, what's worse? Honestly, both are equally as bad. Yeah, they're pretty fucking bad, dude. Yeah, like, the these are two, like, super different things, but they are just equal in terribleness. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because this person suffered for years. Yeah, that's fucked up. She just sat there four yeah. years in the fucking crater. Yep. That's really sad. It's so, like, at the top, yeah, it discovered dead in a, in a, in a fetid, in a fetid, whatever, In a crater. fetid crater. In a fetid crater. Like, you saw that picture of the, of the couch. Yeah, that, that was, was a fucking crater. That was, that was a, a crater, crater full of shit. Yeah, of shit. Of shit and, and rotted flesh. Yep. yep. A literal bed blob. Oh, my God. Yeah, literally. Fondue, $2. This would make a good ring-style scary movie. I, I guess. Some sort of horror movie yeah. of she just becomes a rotted flesh monster that Maybe. attacks you because you fucking neglected her. <laughs> Most active League of Legends player. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she was special needs. So they just abused her for like over a decade. Yep. Yep. And just brought her food, and just let her stay there. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fucked up. This is why. I think this is actually bothering more than the child porn. That's because you're so used to fucking just seeing shit about child porn. Like just jokes and stuff, yeah. maybe. Yeah. But also, I think it's because um, the child porn, like when someone rapes a child, mm -hmm. it's obviously extremely bad. Mm -hmm. But like, it's like a one and done. Unless they, you know. Unless, unless they, they keep going. Yeah, but you know what I mean, though, right? Yeah. Like. This is just constant torture for 10 years. Like, listen, yep. listen. The child isn't being raped 24-7 for 10 years. Depending. I know what you mean. But Depending. In most cases, okay? Sure. You, do you know what I'm saying? Do you, do no, you I understand what okay. you're saying. Oh, but you. also just saying depending. <laughs> uh, five euros from the guy I can't pronounce the name of. Difficult to get that topic in, but is the morality or immorality of circumcision ever something you make a video about? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Well, isn't the... just you shouldn't get your kids fucking generally mutilated. Yeah, I, 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 think, it's a, I think it's immoral, yeah. <laughs> so don't generally mutilate your kids. And there's not much to... Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Unle like, unless there is a medical reason to get circumcised, you shouldn't do it. Yeah. The end. <laughs> Damn. Yep. Cool, the anti-Semitism, Naomi. <laughs> Naomi's allowed to be anti-Semitic, though. Okay. I was going to comfortly rub your head, but maybe I won't. <laughs> Gay is slay. Seattle middle schoolers are forced to send hate mail to Moms for Liberty. What? So basically a teacher made these uh, middle schoolers send hate mail to, to, the, to Moms for Liberty. who are, It's like an anti-gay group. And the teacher's like, now all you kids must write your hate mail as part of your school project. And it's like, can you stop please, actually? I mean, I don't... Boog, thanks to the 20 Mexicans. Thanks. This is a real version of the Slither movie. Ew. Oh my god, dude. Like, I mean, I, I guess you could qualify this as hate mail. It doesn't really seem like hate mail. Other than the gay is slay, stop being a rat. Yeah. <laughs> stop bullying, excluding LGBT Lutheran families from a Seattle public school student. It's from Stephanie, stop bullying. Oh, it's, it's the same thing. Stop yeah. bullying and excluding LGBTQ youth and families from yeah. Stephanie. Yeah. So, like, the teacher's clearly making them say the same thing. Yeah. Like, it's not necessarily, it's not really bullying, but, like, it's cringe. And, my God, I would not want to do this if I were in, like, Dev, you, little Devin, you must now write. I was like, fuck you. Yep. Like, yep. Mrs. Whatever. Yep. Okay, here. On Saturday, parental rights group Moms for Liberty posted pictures of a package they received in the mail which contained letters from the students from a Seattle middle school allegedly made in class. The organization was billing LGBT, LGBTQ youth. Okay, so. I mean, got, aren't they? I don't know. <laughs> I, have no th I, don't, I have no idea what Moms for Liberty is. But I do think that this is ridiculous. Like. No, I'm 90% sure that you've looked up Moms for Liberty before on like a previous sip I was I? on. Maybe. Yeah, and you just forgot. <laughs> I probably just forgot, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's, sit there. let's take a look, let's take a look, let's take a look. They're very obviously like a right-wing group, but that's fine. I don't know what their deal is, but I do know that this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Not like if you want, listen, if you want to mail Moms for Liberty and say I hate, I hate what you're doing, that's your business, right? Yeah, but you shouldn't make students do it. Yeah, it's the Devin is a girl's name. No, it's fucking not, and I will fight you. <laughs> so when I when I was younger, it was a uh, it was a guy's name. It became a gender neutral name in the past no, 10 years or so. No, Devin is a boy's name, and you will never convince me otherwise. <laughs> so listen, like I I would. I hate that you must write a letter 
to send off and engage in political activism. You, you child. And it's like, but I don't want to. I don't believe in this. I'm just a kid. It's like, then yep. you're going to fail the class. Like, I, I hate that. I hate that. It's so, oh my God. Okay. <sighs> the package were cards that appeared to be drawn by children, directly calling out the organization with phrases such as, gay, say gay, gay is slay, stop being a rat, and stop being an exceeding LGBT youth. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The same message was repeated on multiple cards. Yeah. Yep. Hard to see. Here we go. When the post millennial reached out for comment to, com to for comment to the teacher, school, and district, an auto response came from the teacher's email that read, "Thank you for contacting me. I am currently on a leave of absence and not checking email. If you have an urgent issue or question, please contact the assistant principal, Madeline Benz. I look forward to correcting whenever contacting when I return." Yeah. Okay. Yep. Teacher's email sent an auto reply. To be honest, it probably wasn't because of this project. To be honest, it's probably uh I have a feeling that that project might have been the last straw and they were already on thin ice. I mean, maybe. They're doing who, similar things. Maybe, but who knows, right? Who knows? So, Seattle Public Schools to the host millennial in a statement, Seattle Public Schools is dedicated to fostering welcoming, inclusive, and identity-safe environments for all of our students. We firmly uphold the rights of our students, staff, and families to express their authentic selves. We take great pride in our, un in our un un unwavering support for LGBTQIA plus students, staff, and families. Mm -hmm. Okay. The material was sent as an independent activity and not part of the school curriculum. Yeah, so I have a feeling that that said teacher was probably doing more like independent te like teaching of things outside or, of the school curriculum. Or, or it was under the desk and they were just like, you have to do it. Or else I mean, maybe. Yeah. And then they got found out and they were just like, you're on leave. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Many questioned if this school has been spending too much time on social justice causes and not academics. One commenter revealed that a language arts teacher named Gabriel Herbison proudly promoted the anti-police propaganda book, Ghost Boys. This is one of the teachers, yeah. Okay. Check out this woke anti this woke language arts teacher proudly promoting the anti-police propaganda, Ghost Boys. It's a fictional book about a black boy who's killed by a white officer and paints, paints police in the story as racist. Okay. Yeah, but some police are racist. Yeah, but some are. <laughs> So it's just a story of the, the particular police officer being racist. Like, why is that a bad thing? Because probably, um, is this old enough to be reading that sort of thing? Mm. Maybe. Eighth, eighth, to be fair, eighth, eighth grade. grade is 13 years, 13 to 14, right? Uh, the, it's like 12 to 13, 14, okay. 14 you're hitting high school. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, honestly, I was reading, like, other than the stuff I shouldn't have been reading, that was, I was too young for. To be fair, yeah, I was looking at porn in eighth grade for sure. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. But, like, no, I don't know, like, that's generally when kids are all going to be off and discovering, like, that's generally when kids start discovering mm -hmm. more political and, like, things and stuff. Well, and, sexual, like, at least. Maybe not political, but sexual, Yeah, sure. but, like, you know, like, both. It's yep. both. Yep, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. Fondue, $5, thank you. These teachers are tripping over themselves to, pro to prove the right correct on grooming. They can't help themselves. Yeah, kind of, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Anyway. The, the post-millennial is a right-leaning news source. Mm -hmm. But this is still, like bullshit <laughs> this is bs yeah like i i say you shouldn't like if you're if you have your kids like practicing writing like hate mail i guess as some part of class on yeah. something you know i don't know what i'm just pulling this out of my ass well, let's just say it was actually part of the curriculum as a group project then that's fine but then sending off said letters to whatever you wanted to direct that hate mail towards is bad mm -hmm. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. you shouldn't be having students do that because, you know, they're minors. Yeah. <laughs> Schools shouldn't be allowed to show any form of politics at all. I mean, there are places in the curriculum where politics are important, like you're learning history sometimes, you know. Or like in high school, there's like political science classes, so fair enough. But like, definitely, let's say below teenage years, mm -hmm. you should be learning math and language. Yeah. And like geology. Yeah. And, geology. You know, well, okay. Yeah. I, I've got a geology class. Rocks. Okay, not geology. What was that? Geography. Geography, yeah. There you go. There you go. Rocks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like the, 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 the basics, you know? Okay, also, Naomi, telling kids that cops are bad is a bad, bad thing, even if they're teens. Listen, 
Sometimes some cops are bad, and that's just the way it is. I'm never gonna say all cops are bad, but like, if, like I watched. Yes, yeah, are bad. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. No, but listen, I watched a lot of cop shows as a kid. Like I was watching all of them, and you know what? In some of the shows, some of the cops were bad, and that they was just painted were. as that. Yes, there are they some bad were, cops. They just were, dude. They just were. You know? Yep. And like, I don't, I don't think that telling your kids, yes, some cops are bad, is a bad thing. But I think that saying all cops are bad is a bad thing, because not obviously no, not I all of them you. are. Yep. Yeah. Let's go to the final article for today, my friends. Playing computer games can increase risk of erectile dysfunction. Well, shit, Dev, you're fucked. <laughs> R.I.P. Too much screen time is literally making men soft. <laughs> Chinese scientists found that playing computer games for a prolonged period can drastically increase someone's likelihood of experiencing erectile dysfunction. Is this on a laptop on their lap? The present study offered substantial evidence for a positive causal association between computer use and the risk of erectile dysfunction. You're all fucked. Every single one of you in the chat, you're all done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. You're done, guys. You're done. Scientists oh. arrived at this hard truth by exploring the, ca the casual association between leisure sedentary behavior and erectile dysfunction. Okay, well, that doesn't have to just include yeah. playing video games. That's just yeah, sedentary so basically, behavior. Yeah, if you're sitting around, you're not getting enough exercise... You're probably like not, you know, not working out your heart, not working out your muscles. Your dick's going to be soft. Yeah, mm -hmm. understood. Yeah. Yeah. To gauge if there was a link, researchers observed 223,000 men aged 40 to 69 as they engaged in various leisure activities, including watching TV, computer use, even driving for pleasure. They then measured participants' levels of testosterone and other sex hormones as well as feelings of depression and anxiety. Scientists found that for every additional 1.2 hours of leisure time on the computer, of which type they didn't specify, Participants more than tripled their likelihood of experiencing erectile dysfunction. So, is this because they're on the computer and not moving, or is it because they're, they're, they're like furiously masturbating on the computer, looking at porn, and then like they're not getting they're not getting hard like otherwise? Like who who knows, dude? <laughs> they're being so super vague on this, and I yeah, feel like are. I feel like it's it's probably more to do with porn addiction than yep. just spending their time yep. on the computer. Hero Sword P for five dollars. Thank you. I legitimately cannot remember a single time a grade school teacher talked about their politics. Today's kids in schools are in a hellish situation. Yeah, no, it does. It didn't happen till till high school for me, and it yeah. happened in the context of a political science and like civics course, which is fine. Mm -hmm. That that's when it's okay. Yep. Okay, so. Interestingly, scientists didn't obtain any evidence to suggest that watching television or leisure driving didn't have the same effect, suggesting that being sedentary wasn't the problem in and of itself. Oh, so it's not just sitting around. It's because like watching TV didn't do it and leisure driving didn't do it. It's okay. being on the computer. Leisure driving is definitely not going to do it because you have to actually be focused while you're driving. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe, maybe it's just watching porn on the computer. Yeah. yeah. So how do these pixelated pursuits torpedo one's Hard drive. <laughs> Prolonged computer use is associated with lower levels of follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, which is manufactured by the brain's pituitary gland. Along with testosterone, FSH is responsible for stimulating sperm production in men, which, when impringed, can result in erectile dysfunction. By similar tokens, the levels of F F FSH have been found to cause decreased libido, infertility, and low energy. Fortunately, this digitally induced impotence can be con counteracted by moderate physical activity per the study. No need to exchange your laptop for an elliptical just yet, however. The study had several caveats. Most notably the fact that they only evaluated men under 70, the age at which ED is the most prevalent. The intensity of the symptoms was also unclear. Therefore, it could only be concluded that the longer the time spent using a computer, the more likely ED was to occur. But the risk of developing a specific, a specific type of ED or how severe ED would be could not be determined. Okay. So this seems like a very casual study of this, which mm -hmm. isn't really, like, is, is leading to, like, hypotheses. Yeah. So I have noticed that, like, I've heard this, this before. Hypothesis. Right? Porn addiction can lead to desensitization of sexual stimuli. Yes, it can. Lead to decrease arousal. So, like, there, there's, What's like, there's, called? like, death grip? there's two things happening here. Death grip. One is death grip. When you yeah. jack off so hard that, like, your, like, your dick becomes desensitive. Yeah. And then, like, you place. can't, and you can only, like, jack off, like, with your hand. Like, you can Get only off, come yeah. with your hand yeah. because it's doing, like, the extreme gripping that a vagina yep. literally can't do. Yep. So what you have to do for that is just, like, not jack off for a couple months, yep. basically. Yep. Um, and also, though, people who who um, watch porn constantly, yep. most of the time, 
they're they're looking at girls that are way hotter than they can actually get with themselves. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So that like there's yep. expectations, yep. and then they like yeah. So there's a whole bunch of problems that come. That's with porn. why when you look at porn, if you're actually looking at it and not reading it, you should only look at fucked up porn. Okay. Yeah, well that way. It's fucked up, and you the know you're never gonna get. The grossest porn possible. Yeah, you're never gonna get that in real <laughs> life anyway. So you'd already know that. Okay, sex isn't gonna actually be like that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. I know women have their own version of death grip. I'm aware. Yeah, it's called using the vibrator too much because the guys can't go that fast. Yeah, exactly. And turning their clit to fucking mush. Yep. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. We've reached the end of the articles. Thanks for all your support today, guys. Thank you for all of the um, all the donations, all the super chats, all the all the interactions, which are hilarious, and all all your good jokes that we're definitely gonna steal. <laughs> Ten dollars right at the end, adhering to legal. Well, actually, it's not the end because we're actually staying on late today. Don't you dare leave. Uh, Ten dollars from adhering to Lady Columbia. Thank you. I looked at my housing options for the next ten years. Uh, JF, we only have 500k houses in the US available. At this point, I know I won't have marriage and housing until I'm in my mid 30s. RIP, dude, I'm sorry. Womp. What are your thoughts on Hasbin Hotel, says Kevin? I haven't, uh, I haven't seen it. Dev hasn't seen it. I like it, but I understand why other people don't like it. However, I think a lot of the hate, like, I don't know what exactly hate, but like, I think a lot of the hate is just manufactured. You think so? Honestly, yeah. Because, like, it's just like, ah, yes, it's, like, in hell. There's lots of gay sex stuff. It's a comedy. It's a musical. Like, I understand why a lot of people don't like it. I understand why yep, a lot of people yep, do yep. like it. I don't think it's the most amazing thing on the planet, but I enjoy I'm it. I'm leaving now. by Fuck you! Okay, Boo! do me a favor. Uh, can you grab the PS controller, PlayStation 5 controller? Why? Over in the box. So, listen, guys, we have finished the weekly sip. I do appreciate y'all staying here. You know that I shell what the color? fuck out of my... Uh, blue's fine. There's you, no blue. Yes, there is. No, oh, no it's, it's here. It's actually beside me. Never mind. Well, you fucking Sorry. piece of shit. <laughs> I know that I shell the fuck out of my gaming channel, and only like 10% of you, maybe 5% of you actually watch the gaming channel. So if you're not interested in watching the gaming channel, you want to take off, I understand. I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather you didn't, but I expect most of you to do so. No hard feelings if you do. I'm trying something different today. I'm going to be, rather than like waiting a couple hours and streaming tonight, I'm jumping right into the gaming stream pretty much right now. We'll probably go on like a 10 minute break and 15. we'll come. 15 maybe at the most? Yes. And we'll come back and we'll play some video games, okay? Video. And Dev will actually be playing the video games so oh, you can enjoy him being oh. a bumbling moron. <laughs> As yep. he always is all the time. Because <laughs> once, once we move, this is what I intend to do. I intend to basically stream politics more regularly and also stream gaming after the politics is done on the same stream because hopefully some, some more of you guys will stick around. Nope, Kib's time. Fuck you, Kib's time. <laughs> Fuck you. Go enjoy watching your furry. <laughs> God damn Because Kib's is the furry, right? I didn't fuck that up or is Ray the furry? Here. Who is it? Right, they're both furries. Listen. Okay. <laughs> here, by the way, here's the rule. If you are going to leave, I understand. You have to leave. Okay? Don't do this whole thing where you start pulling people away from my stream. Don't fucking do that. All right? Anyway, thanks for being here for the sip, guys. I do appreciate all your support. Thanks for the super chats. Th thanks for the Twitch subs. Thanks for the et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye. For a minute. For a minute. <laughs>